on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports the American Civil Liberties Union is suing a Kentucky County clerk on behalf of four couples, two of them same-sex, for refusing to issue marriage licenses after the U.S. Supreme Court's historic decision to legalize same-sex marriage. The ACLU said Rowan County clerk Kim Davis cited deep religious convictions in refusing to issue marriage licenses to any couple and violated the couple's rights. The lawsuit says by adopting a policy to withhold issuing marriage licenses to all individuals otherwise eligible to marry, defendant Davis acted maliciously with callous disregard for or with reckless indifference to the clearly established rights of the named plaintiffs. Davis, in her individual capacity, acted intentionally, willfully, and in disregard of the clearly established rights of the named plaintiffs and with deliberate indifference to the clear rights of the named plaintiffs. Davis told LEX 18 News she is standing firm on her decision despite protest. She said she decided to oppose the June 26 Supreme Court ruling after praying and fasting. She said, My conscience will not allow me to issue a license for a same-sex couple because I know that God ordained marriage from the very foundation of the the world to be between a man and a woman. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numerary supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. Reuters reports JetBlue Airways said it began direct charter flights between New York and Havana on Friday, the first major U.S. carrier to fly the route following U.S. President Barack Obama's decision in December to normalize relations with the communist-ruled island. The airline said Cuba Travel Services is offering the weekly flight on Fridays between New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport and Havana's Jose Marti International Airport. It did not say how much the trip would cost. JetBlue now operates five weeks weekly round trips to Cuba, including flights from Tampa and Fort Lauderdale with various charter partners. Since the Obama administration issued new regulations that eased some restrictions on trade with Cuba, including permitting more travel by Americans to the island, airlines in the United States, such as United and Delta, have said they also will look into adding service. Other charter airlines already operate limited service to the Caribbean island. American citizens are still not allowed to visit Cuba as tourists, but they can visit the island for one of 12 reasons, such as visiting family or participating in academic, professional, religious, or educational programs. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. And in a surprise announcement this morning, U.S. Deputy Surgeon General Greg Paulson stated that, quote, it's fine to smoke cigarettes if you only smoke while drinking. The deputy surgeon general has called the press conference to discuss the shocking findings, which began just moments ago. Let's go live to that now. Was there a particular study this report was based on? Look, that, that determination was made after considering that someone who only smokes when at bars or parties ends up smoking maybe 15 cigarettes a month. What? While regular smokers are smoking 150 to 200 cigarettes each week. So. We feel that it's just obvious that as long as you don't actually buy the cigarettes and you only smoke them while consuming the alcohol, then the risks of getting lung cancer are basically mostly negligible. Just common sense. Well, this announcement comes on the heels of the Surgeon General's last announcement that drinking and driving is fine if you ate a lot that day or if it's a route you take all the time sober. Moving on, the Japanese Space Agency has announced plans to put a schoolgirl on the moon by 2015. This is the Onion News Network. Hey, it's Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition. We'll, of course, take your calls about whatever is on your mind. You can join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. It is the Independence Day edition of Free Talk Live, and uh, we're actually here. It's Ian with you. And Mark. And we're going to start out with a uh, special guest on the program that I was really, uh, really excited about. To have him send me an email a few weeks back, just out of the blue. Uh, his name is Andrew Lee, and he is the head of Purse. You can go to Purse at purse.freetalklive.com. We've been talking a lot about Purse over the last few weeks, and that's because Purse has signed on as uh, a sponsor of Free Talk Live. And I'm really jazzed about it because 
it's one of those situations where a company that you were already excited about, in my case, I was already excited about Purse, and we were talking about it on the air uh, before they became a sponsor. They became a sponsor because we were essentially talking about them on the air. I mean, well, I don't why know don't what... you tell people why you're excited about them? Oh, well, because you can get 25% off easily on pretty much every single product on Amazon when you pay with Bitcoin. That's the magic of Purse. You can get up to 25% off and possibly even more than uh, 25% off. You, you get to choose, basically, uh, what your discount is. And Andrew Lee from San Francisco, welcome to Free Talk Live. Hi, Ian and Mark. Pleasure to be here. Thanks. It's uh, it's great to have you. Apparently, you've been a listener of Free Talk Live for a little while. It was uh, I think you told me it was Roger Veer who turned you on to the show. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Um, it's kind of the reverse case of Roger. I think he heard about Bitcoin um, by listening to Free Talk Live. He did. Um, and I, I, I was working on Bitcoin and uh, learned about Free Talk Live through the Bitcoin community. <laughs> Very cool. I love it when things work out that way. So I guess, how did you get interested in Bitcoin? What uh, what turned you on to it? And, and could you, for our listeners who, uh, who don't know, people tuning in for the first time tonight, could you describe Bitcoin for them? Sure. So Bitcoin, uh, and there's a lot of different ways to think about Bitcoin, and there's uh, all kinds of comparisons made um, to national currencies, to uh, you know banks or remittance services. Well, what we kind of think about it, uh, think about Bitcoin is as a more efficient payment system. Um, it's international, it's permissionless, um, anybody can join, and it's open source. So uh, you know we think there's really powerful technology that needs a use case um, to get people on board. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've uh, been fans of Bitcoin for years here on Free Talk Live. Our listeners who've been listening for a while know that we are basically the first media organization to start accepting Bitcoin for payments. A lot of our uh, advertisers actually pay us with Bitcoin because, gosh, it's a lot easier to pay with Bitcoin than it is pretty much anything else out there. And there's next to zero fees when you do it with Bitcoin. So businesses that start accepting Bitcoin uh, can c- immediately cut out whatever credit card fees they had been paying on the, the transactions that they're otherwise getting with uh, with Bitcoin. So it's a huge boon to international trade, to business well, people. It's a superior currency. Yeah. The difficulty with uh, with it is is that people sort of need a reason to use it. Right. They already have currencies in many cases. And, um, well, and Gresham's Law dictates that you will spend the least valuable of the currencies, the, the ones that you don't want to really hold on to. And so if I have to choose between Bitcoin and Federal Reserve notes, the U.S. dollar, I'm going to spend the dollar because I know the U.S. government's going to print more dollars out and going to devalue their own currency over time. That's just the sort of the history of the dollar. That's not going to change anytime soon, whereas Bitcoin can go up. In fact, it has gone up in the last few weeks uh, in value. And so I'd be more likely to hold on to my Bitcoin. What you're talking about when you said this use case is something that you came up with, purse to encourage people to actually spend Bitcoin, to give them a real solid, undeniably good reason to actually spend their Bitcoin, right? Yeah, that's correct. Um, And so, you know, Amazon already has the lowest prices on almost everything, and they run one of the most efficient businesses in the world. Um, And to many listeners, you know, 25% discounts on Amazon might sound too good to be true. It does. It really yeah, does. Yeah, I think a lot of people just, I um, mean, they, they hear the term 25% off um, on, you know, every everything all Must the time. Must be a scam. Yeah, 25% off. What, you know, it's a sale. What big deal. But Amazon never offers sales. There's no 25% off because they already have great pricing. So if you want to get 25% off on it, it's basically a raise, right? Everybody yeah, out there really is like having, having difficulty, you know, hey, we need more money. Um, well, here it is. Pretty much everything you need in your life, you can now get at about 25% off. Right, right. Yeah, so to explain kind of where the discount comes from, I mean, you've got to understand that there's a huge credit market out there. Um, It's actually to the tune of $100 billion um, that are issued in the form of store credit. Um, And they're, you know, gift cards, hotel points, airline miles. Um, They're all essentially IOUs issued by corporations. Mm -hmm. And if you hold any of these IOUs, you'll find that it's very difficult to turn it into useful cash. Um, so if you have a hundred dollar bill, you know, or a hundred dollar balance on Amazon, it's really hard to say what the value of that hundred dollar balance is without creating a market. Um, and so we essentially built a market for Amazon credit and Bitcoin because we think Bitcoin is a lot better than um, these corporate issued IOUs. 
And, uh, and, so, and so if you want to shop on first, you know, you, re you don't really have to understand all of the marketplace underneath, um, especially with instant, you just search for an item that you like, uh, like coffee or, uh, and select the item that you want and just save by spending Bitcoin. I really need to try purse instant. I know it exists, but I've never really wanted to get just 5% off. Is, isn't it purse instant gives you an instant 5% off? Yes, it's 5% off, and it's a free two-day delivery. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, but for me, I'm like, I want to get 25% off, so I'm willing <laughs> to wait for an hour or two hours or whatever. I mean, do, what's the average? Do you have these statistics as, as far as, like, how long do people have to wait typically to get big discounts, like 20 to 25% off? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, in, the, in, the, in our first year of business, um, we, uh, we saved uh, Bitcoiners almost half a million dollars wow. um, compared to them spending on Amazon. Um, and the average discount was 20%. Mm -hmm. um, and so, especially in the U.S., and, it, and each of these markets are different, whether it's the U.S. Amazon or you know, the U.K. Amazon or, or, or what have you, because we support all of them. Um, it, but, but uh, you know, the market, the discount rate actually changes a little bit, and the time it takes to get your order fulfilled changes a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, with 20% in the U.S., U.S. for uh, you know Amazon items, um, we get those fulfilled in less than twelve hours. It's incredible. So if you're willing to, if you are willing to wait for a day, uh, twelve hours, or twelve hours, half a day. In my like, case, the most recent time I did. We're not talking about a great deal of uh, yeah. patience here. The new router in the studio here took ninety minutes to fulfill it, twenty percent off. Uh, so if you're willing to wait, because what happens is when you when you order through Purse with Bitcoin, your Bitcoin goes into escrow with Purse, and then it sits. Your order sits in a marketplace where people can essentially the people who want to get Bitcoin then buy the product for you as a gift on Amazon, and then once it reaches you, you then release the Bitcoin to them, right? So essentially, the people p buying that Bitcoin are paying that 20% premium on top of the regular price. Yeah, that's that's correct. And and why would someone pay that much money for Bitcoin? I mean, oh, so, so the cases vary, um, and you know, you know, the discount rates on our order book vary, uh, range from five percent all the way up to you know thirty-five, fifty percent. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's up to the individual to kind of decide whether or not that's worth it to them. And uh, and one use case that we, you know, that, that turned out to be incredibly powerful is that you know Amazon affiliates and Amazon Mechanical Turks and um, these different independent contractors that work on these online services are actually paid an Amazon gift card. And if you think about where these people might be living. Um, they're predominantly in India, Indonesia, you know, Philippines, um, in, in the Southeast Asia, um, and you, you know, these people to get to liquidity, it's even harder because they can't just shop. Let me slow down for a moment. Mechanical yeah. Turk, uh, Mark gave a kind of questioning, quizzical yeah. look. I have no uh, idea what a mechanical I, Turk is. I looked into this because Roger Veer, when he was first telling me about Purse, explained this to me. Uh, mechanical Turk is a program basically for just pure data entry. There are people working, just doing data entry for various different Amazon, I don't know who's exactly paying this. Amazon essentially is giving them money or they're giving them store credit. Outs outsourcing typists. Yeah, to, to enter data into their system. Isn't that basically what they do? Yes, yeah, they, they they do data entry and um, they do a lot of other um, you know, tasks um, that humans can do. Um, so they call it like artificial, artificial intelligence. <laughs> um, <laughs> And they include things like um, you know, looking at the feed from you know Google Cars and matching you know the address, the picture, the images they see of house addresses or, or the numbers, and turning it into actual text that um, that they can enter into their system. So mm -hmm. uh, so so it's used for a wide range of things. You know, academics use it for to get a large survey audience um, and and so on. But, but those, the have, people who are who are those mechanical Turk workers are are getting paid an Amazon store credit, which is only useful if you want to get something on Amazon. But if you turn that Amazon store credit into Bitcoin using purse, which is what a lot of them do, then they can spend it anywhere and you know on anything. So it makes it much more valuable to them. So they're willing to pay that extra percentage on top to, to turn their store credit into Bitcoin. Andrew, hang on. I want to bring it back for more. It's Free Talk Live. Every summer we go to Canyon Woods. Love getting outside. Love the hiking. Hate the itching and irritation from poison ivy, bug bites, all the things that keep me inside. So I need something strong. Cortisone 10 Intensive Healing is clinically proven with the strongest non-prescription itch medicine available for fast, long-lasting relief of itching and irritation with seven moisturizers to help heal skin. I finally have the relief I need. Hey, Jan, check this out. On my way. Cortisone 10. Feel the heal. 
Discover how deep your American roots go for free this 4th of July weekend. Go to tryancestry.com to get free access through July 5th. Visit tryancestry.com anytime this Wednesday through Sunday, and you'll have free access to our collection of records from the original 13 colonies and with a new visual story experience. Celebrate this 4th of July and take advantage of this free access weekend. Visit tryancestry.com. That's T-R-Y ancestry.com. Tryancestry.com. Honey, it's time for dinner. What are you doing over there on your computer? I'm shopping for a new wallet. Mine is falling apart. Hey, did you know there's a company called ID Stronghold that makes shielded wallets to prevent electronic pickpocketing? Oh, I didn't realize there was such a thing as electronic pickpocketing. What is that? Well, apparently, many of the new credit and debit cards being issued have radio chips inside them called RFID that transmit our banking information to card readers when we pay. Unfortunately, a bad guy can also get one of these readers and go around the city scanning people, collecting their credit card numbers and personal information without us knowing it. Wow, that sounds scary. Since you're getting a new wallet anyway, you should definitely get an ID Stronghold shielded wallet. Are they more expensive? No. In fact, I can get a shielded leather wallet from IDStronghold.com for the same price or less than regular unshielded wallets from other stores. Sounds great. My wallet isn't falling apart yet, but let me pick one out, too. I want to be protected, and these wallets at IDStronghold.com look fantastic. Cato University is the Cato Institute's premier educational event of the year. It's being held this year from July the 26th to the 31st at the Cato Institute's state-of-the-art headquarters in Washington, D.C. This annual program brings together outstanding faculty and participants from across the country and often from around the globe, with everyone sharing a commitment to liberty and learning. Cato University is a genuine community, and you can freely share viewpoints, concerns, ideas, questions, and more in an atmosphere of friendship and personal respect. It's a one-of-a-kind program for people who don't stop thinking after they got out of school. It's for people who don't want politicians or bureaucrats or officials to do their thinking for them. It's for people who value liberty. You'll learn. You'll be inspired. You'll make new friends. You'll meet great people from around the world. All of the details are spelled out at the Cato website, cato.org, and they hope to see you there this summer, July the 26th through the 31st in Washington, D.C. Again, details are at cato.org. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. We're back with more Free Talk Live. Of course, you can join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. Coming up, we'll talk about Independence Day and what it all means. Of course, you can share your thoughts with us here. It's Ian and Mark in the studio. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can also get on Skype, which is where we have Andrew Lee from Purse, purse.freetalklive.com. You go there, you get signed up, and you'll be signing up uh, underneath Free Talk Live, so we'll get a very, very small portion of your purchase uh, price from that point forward when you use Purse to save something like 20 to 25% easily on every product uh, available on Amazon. It's an incredible, it's an incredible feature. It's an incredible concept. I've been using it now for about six months, I think. I've had a close to two dozen transactions, and one of the things I like about Purse is it shows off on the main dashboard that you have when you log in how much you have saved uh, over the history of your use of Purse. So far, I've saved over 530 U.S. dollars on nearly two dozen transactions. That's uh, that's pretty significant savings and usually I'll get 20 to 25 percent 
off of pretty much anything that I put on the order sheet. You go above 25%, it's going to get more progressively more difficult to get someone to fulfill an order. So, for instance, when I left town, uh, I wanted to get that new router for the studio. I had it set at 50% off because I figured nobody was going to bite on it, and nobody did. So uh, we're back on with Andrew Lee. But you said it's pretty easy to get 20 to 25% off. Pretty much that's the average was 20% in the United States, right, Andrew? Yeah, that's correct. And Andrew, what's you are the, the what's the highest uh, discount somebody's gotten for, from what you've been able to see? So we've seen people um, fulfill the fifty percent, which is a which is a maximum, but wow. um, they're they're few and far, far between. Yeah, that one's pretty hard to uh, to accomplish. But again, if you if you don't need something urgently, you can put it on the marketplace and see if somebody bites at a at a higher percentage. So you're the are you the CEO or the founder? What exactly is your role with Purse? So I'm the co-founder and CEO of Purse. Excellent. And you guys have been open for more than a year. Is that right? So, we're, yeah, we're in our 14th month in business. I think it's that's fantastic. A, that, that's an eon in uh, Bitcoin years. Now, I heard, rumor, <laughs> I heard rumors you guys are considering expanding beyond Amazon. Is there truth to that? There is, um, yes. And we want to continue on this um, thesis of uh, liquidating stored value and turning it into Bitcoin, as well as providing discounts for using Bitcoin. Yeah, you said that a bunch of companies do essentially what Amazon does, which is pay uh, pay some employees in store credit, online credit, and that the, obviously those employees, uh, you know, <laughs> they want to get some things that they can't get on Amazon or mm -hmm. whatever, and so that would be it would make sense that you know those that did you want to be take advantage of that same situation with other online companies. Yeah, that's that's correct. Um, and you know, Amazon gift cards were kind of the de facto remittance tool for a lot of startups um, here, especially on the West Coast. Um, if you, if you've ever thought about um, you know, creating an app where you could uh, you know hire virtual contractors online um, for any kind of service, then you, you probably you, you'll conclude that Amazon gift card is the easiest, most efficient way to do it before Bitcoin. Um, and so there are you know, dozens of companies, just like Mechanical Turk or Amazon's affiliate program, that um, use uh, Amazon gift cards as a remittance tool. And uh, and so you know, looking beyond, there are also like miles and um, hotel points and loyalty points where we could also uh, do something similar. So even if Amazon tomorrow decided, all right, we're jumping on board with Bitcoin. We're going to start accepting Bitcoin officially as, as payment at Amazon, which they don't do today. But if they were to do that tomorrow, that really wouldn't affect your business, would it, right? Because, I mean, there's still all those people that want to cash out their store credit and turn it into Bitcoin. And that's basically what uh, sort of fuels purse. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Very cool. Our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. So can you tease at all what uh, you've got on the on the horizon? Is it something you can even talk about? So in a couple of weeks, we're re launching a completely redesigned site. It'll be very mobile-friendly and uh, it, it, you know, kind of makes this – it separates the shop and earn aspect. So, so uh, you, know, you see what you need to see. Um, I, you know, I imagine, Ian, that you've never bought Bitcoin on first. Or I've not. Because you, but, um, and so, so we're, we're really working on the experience and trying to make you know, sh saving on Amazon just as easy as shopping on Amazon. It's awesome. I love it. Mark, any other questions you've got for uh, Andrew? You had mentioned airline miles, and I think people can transfer airline miles from one person to another. Would this be a way to sort of for people to monetize their airline miles? Yes, that's at correct. At some point? Yes. Okay. Well, I, that's going to be a big deal. Yeah, the whole thing's a bit. The whole thing's a big deal. I'm so glad that you approached us. Thank you, Andrew, for uh, for coming on Free Talk Live to talk about how your your business works. And by the way, I'd like to also say that uh, the customer service has been great. Before you reached out to me, there was one issue that happened with uh, one of the transactions that was just really weird. That one of the I don't even want to get into all the details, but your customer service handled it. There's a ten thousand dollar guarantee. Is there not? Can you tell me about that? Yes. Um, so if, if you don't get your item, or you know your your item comes with damaged, we'll do everything we can to get your uh, get it refunded in a timely fashion. And if not, um, we will refund you your Bitcoin payment. Um, so I mean, I'm guessing a lot of listeners on the show probably heard about Bitcoin several times and probably wondered you know why they would ever use it. And uh, and so if you buy eighty dollars in Bitcoin today, and you can literally get a hundred dollar item on Amazon through Purse. Uh, it's really simple and it saves real money. Yeah, this is the, the, the um, as Ian's called it, the killer app. The killer app. app. Um, and this is this is the thing that's going to. It seems to me that it really it gives everybody a reason to want to get Bitcoin because. Uh, most, I mean, I would say that a good, probably majority of Americans have used Amazon at some point in their life, mm -hmm. and 
everybody wants to get a sale, and there's no sales available on Amazon items. So that's it. You, if you want to get 20 to 25 percent off on things that you buy on Amazon, which is pretty much everything you need in your life, you don't. I mean, everything you get at Walmart, you can get at Amazon. Um, you can get actually some food there. Basically, the only thing you can't get on Amazon is your electric bill, your uh, mortgage, um, <laughs> and um, like uh, produce and meats. Yeah, pretty and, much. And, and you know, not counting meat in cans. I'm a huge fan. I love what you're doing, Andrew. Thank you, and thanks for reaching out, and uh, I'm glad we're working together. Thanks for having me on the show. Have a good night. Andrew Lee from Purse. You can go to purse.freetalklive.com. Again, if you get signed up there, you only need to go through our URL just when you sign up. You can then go through their regular URL after that because you know you don't but need to keep going. You that. can use ours. Just bookmark it and go. You could. Uh, Purse.freetalklive.com. Yeah. If you go get the account now, then you reserve your uh, username and other yep. people are not going to be you know, getting that username. Your, your favorite one. It's a good idea to do it even before you get your Bitcoins. You can get Bitcoins by going through expresscoin.com. We have a relationship with them, and they make it fast, safe, easy, and e efficient to get your bitcoins. It's and a very low fee at ExpressCoin.com, by the way. You can actually even get you can even get up to forty dollars worth of bitcoin by using code FTL with no transfer fee yep. over at ExpressCoin. So you could, you know, put forty bucks worth of uh, into Bitcoin through ExpressCoin, get get that forty dollars worth of bitcoin, and then use that to buy anything you want at Amazon for a sweet discount. Yep. Purse. That's the way to do it. Expresscoin.com to get Bitcoins. You can't say it's hard. It's easy. You know, if you can get a money order or write a check, you can get Bitcoins. You know, normally, Mark, uh, I, I sway away from doing infomercial style kind of uh, interviews with yep. business owners on Free Talk Live. But this is such a huge thing. Like well, 20%, this can change everybody's right, life who's this listening. This is seriously a big deal, right? Like this this is real. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is, it's not like you have to buy X amount of things at a high or higher price first or there's some sort of scam here. This is the real deal. And it's really awesome and it's worked right. for me a bunch You've of You've been times. excited about this for yeah. uh, weeks. Since before they came yeah. on board. Yeah, Since before we even knew that. I mean, the, the dude just emailed me out of the blue. Yeah. Like, hey, I listened to your show. I heard you talking about Purse. <laughs> And now here they are. So purse.freetalklive.com. All right, we got Independence Day stuff to talk about on the way here, Mark. You've got shocking, shocking news about the founding of the country. I wouldn't go about news, but well, I hadn't heard new. it before. It's Free Talk Live. Measles is activating on a mass scale now due to the vaccines and iron poisoning. All symptoms, disease, and deaths are due to measles and iron, not just rash and flu-like symptoms, as the officials claim. Measles requires a host with iron to replicate. Iron intake is at an unprecedented level. Deaths and hospitalizations are set to soar now in 2015. This is the extermination plan, people. For further information, go to unveilingthem.com. U-N-V-E-I-L-I-N-G them.com. Unveilingthem.com. Did you know some countries are now banning GMO foods? It's true. That's why for quality storable foods, you need ready-made resources. For over 19 years, we've become the name you can trust for thousands of products, like Numana Healthy Food Storage. All Numana storable foods are non-GMO, non-soy and gluten-free available. Call 800-627-3809 or click readymaderesources.com. Ready-made resources. We don't just sell the products, we live it. Hi, I'm Daryl W. Perry, and I need your help to give away my newest book. Yes, you heard that right. I want to give away my newest book, A Rebel's Journey. The book describes my path to the ideas of liberty, which began as a search for traditional values. I will only give away the book if I reach my fundraising goal of $2,500. But wait, there's more! If you donate, not only can you get the ebook and the audiobook for free, but you can get bonus audio content, including interviews with Jeffrey Tucker, Lynn Albrecht, Ben Stone, Gardner Goldsmith, and Stephen Kinsella. Or you can get a signed copy of the paperback book and more. Your donation will serve to replace the profits I would have earned through a more traditional publication of the book. The funds raised will allow me to get the book into the hands of more people and to promote the book to a wider audience. To find out more about the book or to donate, visit arebelsjourney.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. 
The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross has been sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Now, an appeal is Ross's only chance, and he needs your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. People love photography, but when we thought about photography, we realized one thing. Humans are limited to looking at photos with our eyes. That's a problem, right? So we made an app, Pixong, the first program that turns your photos into music if you want to do that for some reason. It puts the power in your hands. You get to decide why you need this. I can't tell you why you need this. It's not my job. Who is this app for? Maybe it's for students, or artists, or blind people. But can it turn your music into photos? No, it can't. Do you get to keep the original photo? No, it gets deleted. Always back up your photos before using Pixong. This is the Onion News Network. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. We're back with more Free Talk Live here on the live Saturday edition of the program. You can join us here on the radio waves. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can also call us via Skype. That's where we had uh, Andrew Lee from Purse on. That's why he sounded almost like he was sitting in the studio here. So if you want to sound really good on the air, use Skype. You can always download it for your... And by the way, I hate recommending Skype because it's really just sort of like not the best of all products out there, but it does make you sound better than a phone. Uh, so if you get your Skype program on your cell phone, it'll actually upgrade the quality of your phone calls to us. And if you sound better, that might mean we can stay on and talk longer because I'm a bit of an audio stickler. You to are. Some extent. Yeah. Probably not as much as I should be, honestly. I tolerate a lot of bad audio on this show more, show, more so than I should. Toll free number tonight, 855 450 free. Peacekeeper 2.0 is going to be in development with your assistance. Peacekeeper is the idea of decentralizing emergency service response. Right now, 911 is pretty much was your only option until Peacekeeper. And sometimes 911 can do okay, sometimes not so much. Either way, you aren't uh, they're not liable for not showing up in any decent amount of time. So Purse will decentralize emergency service response via using an app on your phone. If something's happening, you're uh, let's say there's a fire or some kind of medical emergency, you can send out the appropriate alert and then your uh, friends and family and neighbors who are also on Peacekeeper will get that alert and they could respond maybe in a uh, faster and more humane, more efficient manner than will the government bureaucrats. Purse, uh, purse, Peacekeeper 1.0 was a great concept, but there were some problems with the execution. And the programmers and the people who are, in, uh, who are facilitating things over at Peacekeeper have learned what doesn't work and they've learned from that first app. They've learned what does work and how to build on it. They're looking for your help to take this to Peacekeeper 2.0 and add some cool new features in there, including allowing anyone with a Peacekeeper app to respond to an emergency situation rather than just the people that you know, which I think is a real cool idea. You can go to pk.freetalklive.com to get signed up there uh, and get uh, support their Indiegogo, basically. You get the perks with the Indiegogo uh, campaign. Go to pk.freetalklive.com, PK like Peacekeeper dot freetalklive.com for Peacekeeper 2.0's Indiegogo fundraiser. It's happening now. Let's go to John. He's in Carson City, Nevada. John, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Thanks, guys. On a day uh, when millions of Americans celebrate independence from England, I'm wondering why so many people apparently think uh, the war for independence is justified. The colonists had a right to be free of British rule, sure, but 
to say it's pretty clear that the war was fought to, to replace one set of rulers with another. Basically, it was fought for taxation with representation. I don't see how the fairly modest difference between British and local rule could be worth all the killing and dying. Right. Um, for one, I mean, if people look back, uh, the the taxation that they considered the intolerable acts um, on the colonists was mitigable taxation compared to what we deal with today in the like United States. Like a few States. percents or something like that? Right. And I, um, you know, I mean, this is blasphemy at the highest level when you say that, hey, I don't think the United States should uh, have, um, you know, even fought the Revolutionary War. But... To some extent, uh, the more I the more I look into this, um, the, the the arguments get better and better. Um, the arguments for what? Not fighting the revolutionary. Not war? fighting the revolutionary war. I don't. I'm not for monarchs mm -hmm. by any stretch of the imagination. But you got to kind of look. Yeah, at, you are. You've been calling yourself the king for the well, last two weeks. Not the other monarchs. I'm only for <laughs> me, King Mark the First, intergalactic ruler of all I survey. Um, not the rest of those pretenders. <laughs> I mean, they're simply vassals. Okay. Um, yeah. No. I mean, I'm not. I'm not for the concept of people being ruled by other people, um, against their will, and. Uh, I mean, yeah. go ahead, John. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's not like England was a pure monarchy. Uh, most of the founding fathers probably would have been perfectly happy if they were satisfied that they had the rights of Englishmen. They saw, uh, you know, the British government as a form of democracy, which uh, most of them would have been quite happy with. Yeah, a lot of them um, had large debts over in England, too, and those debts got wiped away by um, mm -hmm. the Revolutionary War. And um, there's also the issue of uh, holding slaves. Slavery was abolished in 1772. Um, in, in England. In England. And then throughout the, the colonies over time, the likely, you know, li the likely uh, fact is, is that slavery would have been abolished significantly sooner had the U.S., you know, what what is now the U.S., not seceded from England. This is what you had mentioned to me before the show, Mark, and I had not heard before. So what you're saying is, is that the American Revolution, there's an argument that it was all about, or at least par partially about, slavery? From Vox.com, looking at uh, John Singleton Copley. No, excuse me, that's the uh, that's a different... The author here is... Um, Dylan Matt, uh, he says that, uh, right as the title for white slaveholders in the South, the war was a revolution first and foremost mobilized to protect slavery. So the, the revolutionary war, the revolutionary war was about for the, you know, s Southern white slaveholders mm -hmm. was about preserving slavery. So all the kerfuffle about the Confederate flag this week in front of the South Carolina state house is the same kerfuffle that should be about the U.S. flag at the same time. We got all kinds of problems just sort of uh, on the Facebook page, just sort of ma making the point that every flag has its difficulties, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But that's the facts, uh, according to this article. John, uh, in Carson City, any other comments you want to share? No, that's it. I just hope that we all get real independence someday. I heard you. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate it. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So what you're saying is there was this graphic, Mark, that uh, we've got these graphic guru guys who are helping post cool stuff to our Facebook page, and that's getting shared quite a bit. One of them was a graphic with, uh, I don't have it pulled up in front of me right now, but it was- It essentially a, said that, look, there was four years under um, the Confederacy of slavery. There was like 80 years of slavery under the U.S. flag. And it just, shows both flags. It's got the Confederate right. flag and then the U.S. flag, and it the, basically the says, what's the difference? The United States Constitution itself was a compromise, um, basically, between the North and the South about maintaining Maintaining slavery and what that would look like. And that has, like, you know, that document needs to bear the responsibility. Well, while it claims freedom for people, it also, you know, doesn't claim, free, didn't claim Not freedom for black for other people. people. Right. And it's, that's tough. I don't look at it that way. It's really difficult. You know, I mean, that's, that's not the way I see it, but that's not my world either. Um, my ancestors, uh, you know, weren't, weren't singled out for their color um, generally. Um, everybody's ancestors were slaves. <laughs> slavery was, uh, it, slavery is the human condition. Hmm. Um, slavery existed before the agrarian revolution. Uh, slavery exists now. And I would argue that citizenship is the new 
serfdom. I don't like to use the term slavery in, in conjunction because it's harsh, but serfdom, people, yeah, people, serfdom is a form of slavery anyway. Sure. If you claim to uh, be able to take from someone the fruits of their labor, a portion of the fruits of their labor, you can take any amount you want. If, I, if they can take 35%, they can take 55%. If they can take 55%, they can take 85%. Mm -hmm. um, they, at one point, the U.S. government had a 90% tax bracket. And if you're taking 90% of what somebody makes, if you're taking 30% of what somebody makes, you're, you're, claiming the, you're claiming ownership of the fruits of their labor. You're claiming ownership of their labor. If you're claiming ownership of their labor, you're claiming ownership of their body. You, they also, municipalities uh, tax people's property. So you don't even own your land. If you don't pay property tax, property tax looks remarkably like annual rent paid to be able to live in a spot. That's exactly what it is. I mean, it's if basically you don't believe rent. That, if you don't believe that, then try not paying it and wait and see what happens to you. It, it differs a little bit in rent. So, for instance, your landlord is unlikely to tax. Like, if you do a lot of improvements on the unit, the landlord is unlikely to raise your rent. Mm -hmm. Whereas the government will do exactly that. If you build a house on a vacant piece of land, they're going to up your property taxes yeah, right away. True. So it's really, frankly, worse than an annual rent, but that's basically what it is. Rent given on an annual or biannual, in some cases, quarterly fashion. You just hate the United States, Mark. You just hate America. Um, I think that I look at history in a realistic fashion. I think the United States is probably a better country than most, but that's just comparing different forms of masters. We'll come back with more. You can share your thoughts here on this live Independence Day edition of Free Talk Live. We're here on Saturday night, and we've got plenty of time for you with your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free, 855-450-3733, or Skype into the show. Skype username's lrn.fm. We're coming up. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit StrategicShelters.com. We love that you're passionate about GCN. And whether you're a listener, a business owner, or a radio industry professional, we've redesigned the new GCN newsletter to keep you in the know. Get updates on your favorite GCN shows and hosts. Go to GCNlive.com and click on the banner in the upper left corner. Just for signing up, you're automatically entered for monthly giveaways. Start receiving your newsletter today. The future of talk radio. GCN. More and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body, and there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. 
See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit StrategicShelters.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855-450-3733, and you can also join us via Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. Uh, we are here on the live Independence Day edition of the program. We do not take a night off here on Free Talk Live, not for any holiday. It's not just that we're working on Independence Day. We'll be here usually on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve and all those other ones. So welcome. Please join us here. You can share your thoughts about Independence Day. There's actually an article over at LouRockwell.com on the subject entitled why not an independence from the state day by roger young he says i'm about to witness my 61st independence day in the u.s collective and all i see forthcoming is still another celebration of failure still another empty gesture from clueless citizen slaves who have no independence the supposed independence noted and celebrated is recorded in the document known as the declaration of independence those enslaved by a king at that time declared themselves subjects instead to some as yet undefined government master, later defined to be as a republic. The document rails about such worthy goals as equality among men, inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and government operating only at the consent of the governed. But when present-day loyalists view their present-day reality through their star-spangled eyes, do they see the ultimate achievement of these documented goals? Once the hot dogs and beer are digested and the fireworks... Nothing wrong with hot dogs and beer. And the fireworks smoke clears, what do they have? Nothing wrong with fireworks. Freedom? Independence? Liberty? Quite the contrary. What they in reality have is a multi-century... <laughs> Enough beer, you have a headache. Linear regression from a declaration of the sanctity of the natural rights of man and the glory of individualism to an annual affirmation of conformity, unquestioned loyalty, collective obedience, and the glorification of human sacrifice when committed in the name of the king. S well... <sighs> Hold on. Um, so when, when these people when, – when people say basically they, they want to harp on Independence Day and say, why aren't we fully independent? I don't have a problem with that particularly, but we need to put it in the historical context of Independence Day is about independence from Great Britain and what the value of that is. And that's what the challenge here to me is, is what is the value? I mean, you know, is is are things so bad in Canada, <laughs> you know, um, where they didn't fight a revolutionary war? The uh, the comparison. Canada was fine when I visited. It was very the, nice. Canada is higher on the Heritage Foundation's uh, uh, economic freedom chart than the United States. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a variety of, you know, so is New Zealand, too, uh, another colony that didn't have to fight in order to, to, to find its freedom. But here in this Vox article uh, that we were reading, the argument is that uh, slavery would have been abolished sooner. And you got to consider that every year that you, an individual, were, were enslaved, that's a pretty big deal. What's the value? Well, the value to white women, the value to uh, black people of independence in the United States, not much. 
Let's talk to Melissa in Des Moines. Melissa, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hi. Hi I want to talk about how Independence Day, you know, everything, we're supposed to have all this and all that, and we have all these rights and all these liberties and all this, but we really don't have any any rights or any liberties. And what does it really value at? To me, my children, my family is the one thing that I value most. And in our Constitution, it says that we have the right to raise our family and our children the way we deem fit without the without the intrusion of the government. And I don't know if that's in the Constitution. I'm not sure it says that, but it, I, I believe that you have that right. Yeah, sure. Right, we do. And it, it may not say it verbatim, but that is what it says. Um, and here we have such an epidemic going on in the state of Iowa in regards to children being falsely removed from their families mm. under false pretenses. And the whole juvenile court system has been sidestepped in the process. And people's everyday normal rights are being abused, ignored, and children, families are being devastated and separated. And children, we're, when we raise our children, we're raising our children in hopes of our future, correct? Sure. Well, when we give them all these emotional problems that we put upon them, from separating them from the family, from situations that we, our government, have created for them, we have no other obligation other than to sit there and say that we're messing up our future. There's so many uh, terrible stories of go these government agencies, the Child Protective Services, making kids' lives worse uh, when they confiscate them from their families over all kinds of nonsense. I mean, we've well, there's had families one kid in uh, Colorado that was taken from her father, um, from her parents, for um, because her father smoked marijuana. She was killed in the foster oh home uh, in the in the foster by the foster parent. Well, even if they don't make it to the foster home, the uh, the government has been harassing parents. Of course, uh, Lenore Skenazy has been reporting over at Free Range Kids for a few years now. Just the the unending amount of stories coming out of like parents who've been harassed by the government for simply letting their kids play in the park across the street without supervision. I mean, there's just so so crazy. How about this one? My ne my nephew is nine years old. Yesterday, he was born on my birthday. He was Neo Nick Unit's smallest surviving baby group. Okay, he was born one pound four ounces, twenty six weeks early, with no eyes, no oh, wow. skin, no functioning organs. Wow. Truly a miracle to be alive. His sister, who follows, is seven years old. She'll be eight this year, and she's born three quarters blind. I've been with these two children every day of their entire life. Sadly, on the 8th of July, two years ago this 8th, their mother passed away. And their father is now incarcerated. He's a, he's a total lost soul right now. And I stepped up to um, gain intervention status with the, through, the, through the court. And the injustice that came about from that, two children are now lost into a system where Judges that serve in Polk County are benefiting from it in, a, in an amount sum of $15,000 per child that is adopted out. Now, you want to talk about human trafficking and slavery and all this and all that. Well, what are we doing to our children right now? And all because our court systems don't want to take the time to do their job? Well, that's what they're getting paid to do. And as for the court, as for the judge themselves, when, when evidence is presented to them that a child has now developed scarlet fever, which is open boils from head to toe due to the emotional stress caused by the separation of the family. And the judge, I won't mention any names, she knows who she is serving in 5th District. She knows that at the end of the day, federal policy is that you are to make a judgment when involving a China case, the judge is to make a decision at the end of that court hearing, not to deliberate it for three more agonizing months, and then just all of a sudden just sidestep the law to begin with. Melissa, thanks and for the call tonight. I appreciate your story. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. These, the law is whatever they say it is. I mean, there is no, you know, they have words written down on paper, but the man in the robe can basically do anything. The rule number one of 1.1, no joke, go look it up, of the New Hampshire District Courts is that the judge can waive the law in any situation, basically any situation he wants to waive the law in. He can just arbitrarily decide we're going to waive the rules 
this uh, today in court because I feel like justice demands I waive the rules. Each one of these situations, <laughs> um, it, you know, where children are separated from their families is a tragedy. Um, I mean, there's obviously circumstances where, you know, some people are completely unqualified to raise their kids. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, the, the difficulty is, is that the incentives are all wrong. They're always wrong for government agencies. Incentives are always wrong for government agencies. Um, I'd love to hear about that great government program that uh, you think really worked at 855-450-FREE. But um, generally what I find is, is they don't. But I understand what people's concerns are in the other direction, too. Let's go to Bill. He's in California. Bill, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello. Ian and Mark, hello. Good evening, gentlemen. Welcome. I just want to make a couple of comments about flags and taxes, if you want to go back to that for of a Of course. Second. Go for it. You, you, you know, if you've ever heard of, the government can take a lot more from you for money. If, if you've ever heard of the selective service system, you've as old as I am, you'll remember something called the Vietnam War, where they can try to draft you into the military. That's mm -hmm. a form of slavery. Yep. And tell you to line 50 people up alongside of a trench and machine gun them or drop nerve gas on them. And with one of our flunkies named Assad in Syria, I'm not talking about tear gas. I'm talking about nerve gas and watch them squirm on the children and women squirm on the floor while their lungs melt from oh, this God. gas. You know, uh, you can fl fly the stars and bars, the red, white, and blue, and the Nazi flag side by side. I don't see the difference. I'm can with you, you on that, Bill. It? Thanks for the call tonight, man. Toll-free number here, 855-450-FREE. And anybody that says, well, they, they got rid of the draft. Well, they didn't get rid of the selective service. They can flip a switch and all the mechanisms for the draft are still in place. They still have the draft boards staffed with people. You know, th this is the problem with symbols. Um, you know, yeah, it's, it's tough. That, that, those were harsh words from that caller, but what can you say? 855-450-FREE. Hi, my name's Cody, and I want to tell you about Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper is the world's first decentralized peer-to-peer -peer protection system. We're developing a smartphone app that revolutionizes how people protect one another. Peacekeeper is a disruptive alternative to the status quo. Peacekeeper is a leap forward in protection services, allowing neighbors to respond far more quickly than police and fire services can. And this is a real community builder, too. Visit peacekeeper.org and join us. What are you doing? Looking for the best hotel value in America. That's easy. It's America's Best Value Inn. Really? Sure. They have over a 1,000 hotels across North America. Okay, that's good. They offer free Wi-Fi, continental breakfast, and HBO at most locations. That's even better. And when you join their free value club, you get 15% off, room upgrade, and late checkout when available. You're right. America's Best Value Inn is the best hotel value in America. Book a room today at abvi.com. Done. So you've signed the Shire Society Declaration and are planning your move to New Hampshire to be around more liberty-oriented people. Next, sign up for the Shire Society Forum at forum.shiresociety.com. There are a bunch of people there who are already in the Shire, and they want to meet you. If you're already in the Shire physically, you should also come by the forums. Remember, not everyone uses Facebook. New people are signing up for the Shire Society Forum every month, so drop in and say hello at forum.shiresociety.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, July 4th, 2015. Silver is trading at $15.72 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,169 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $259. 
Antiwar.com reports Israel's military has announced the closure of Highway 12, which runs along the border with Egypt, after three Grad rockets were fired across the border, landing in an open field. There were no casualties. The missiles were launched from the Sinai Peninsula into southern Israel, with the Islamic State affiliate group State of Sinai claiming responsibility for the strikes into occupied Palestine. This, the Islamic State affiliate, has been increasingly active in the past week, including a high-profile attack against Egyptian forces on Wednesday that sparked a day-long battle that left some 200 people killed in the area along the border between Sinai and the Gaza Strip. This affiliate, which joined the Islamic State back in October, has also fired rockets at Israel from within the Gaza Strip, a tactic they say is meant to encourage Israel to attack Hamas, another of their foes. The group has often threatened strikes against Israel, but this latest salvo suggests that might be getting to be a more serious threat. The affiliate has been fighting Egypt's military junta since the 2013 summer coup. Israel has backed the coup and the junta, and Egyptian officials have talked about inviting Israel's military to join the fight against the Islamic State in Sinai. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports the American Civil Liberties Union is suing a Kentucky County clerk on behalf of four couples, two of them same-sex, for refusing to issue marriage licenses after the U.S. Supreme Court's historic decision to legalize same-sex marriage. The ACLU said Rowan County clerk Kim Davis cited deep religious convictions in refusing to issue marriage licenses to any couple and violated the couple's rights. The lawsuit says by adopting a policy to withhold issuing marriage licenses to all individuals otherwise eligible to marry, Defendant Davis acted maliciously with callous disregard for or with reckless indifference to the clearly established rights of the named plaintiffs. Davis, in her individual capacity, acted intentionally, willfully, and in disregard of the clearly established rights of the named plaintiffs and with deliberate indifference to the clear rights of the named plaintiffs. Davis told LEX 18 News she is standing firm on her decision despite protest. She said she decided to oppose the June 26 Supreme Court ruling after praying and fasting. She said, My conscience will not allow me to issue a license for a same-sex couple because I know that God ordained marriage from the very foundation of the world to be between a man and a woman. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. Fans are friends, allies, and numerary supporters. Fans help FPP afford to produce more original content. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. Reuters reports JetBlue Airways said it began direct charter flights between New York and Havana on Friday, the first major U.S. carrier to fly the route following U.S. President Barack Obama's decision in December to normalize relations with the communist-ruled island. The airline said Cuba Travel Services is offering the weekly flight on Fridays between New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport and Havana's Jose Marti International Airport. It did not say how much the trip would cost. JetBlue now operates five weekly round trips to Cuba, including flights from Tampa and Fort Lauderdale with various charter partners. Since the Obama administration issued new regulations that eased some restrictions on trade with Cuba, including permitting more travel by Americans to the island, airlines in the United States, such as United and Delta, have said they also will look into adding service. Other charter airlines already operate limited service to the Caribbean island. American citizens are still not allowed to visit Cuba as tourists, but they can visit the island for one of 12 reasons, such as visiting family or participating in academic, professional, religious, or educational programs. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. With each successive bite failing to relieve his anxieties, increasingly worried man Dylan Hawks told reporters today that he has yet to come across any trace of guacamole in his burrito, despite having specifically requested it when ordering. No, there definitely wasn't any guac there. Cheese, beans, chorizo. Oh man, I hope they didn't forget. 
Hawks has continued to maintain hope that there may still be an undiscovered sliver of avocado somewhere in his tortilla. However, with his fears for the meal mounting, Hawks has reportedly considered asking the cashier for a refund at various points while eating the burrito. The thing is, if you had a burrito and it was missing cheese, you might not notice it because there's sour cream, but guacamole is completely different. I just don't know how I wouldn't have tasted it by now. Christ, I'm almost done with this thing. This is the Onion News Network. Back now with more Free Talk Live here on the live Independence Day edition of the program. You don't have to talk about... Uh, sort of the founding of the United States and how apparently Mark is telling us it came from racist roots, essentially, the slavery roots, I guess. I presume there's racism behind slavery, but maybe not because there were white slaves, too, weren't there uh, at some point? Sure. So uh, they come from uh, slavery roots, essentially the idea of the U.S. There were people who supported its independence back in the day is what you're saying, Mark, because they wanted to continue with slavery and slavery had been abolished a few years prior to that. 1772, was it in the yep. uh, in Great Britain? That's right. So that's one aspect of it. Then there's another story over at LouRockwell.com that uh, that I had started to share where Roger Young is upset with just the whole idea, the ignorance of people when it comes to Independence Day. And of course, my favorite thing to point out is that so many people don't even call it Independence Day. If you notice when you're going to, you know, the store or you're at uh, where July 4th. Yeah, people will say Happy 4th of July or, you know, what are you doing on the 4th of July? Well, no, it's Independence Day. The idea was to celebrate declaring independence from uh, from Great Britain. There's a, 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 a author out there, Mark Dice. I don't know if you've seen his videos, Ian. Is he an author? He calls himself an author. Okay. <laughs> what he does is he does a lot of these man-on-the-street videos where he takes yep. out a camera and a microphone and he asks people questions. Um, he was essentially asking people against, uh, you know, exact, which nation uh, did we declare independence from in uh, the late 17th century? That's a trick uh, question. 18th, 18th we century. weren't around in the uh, late uh, 18th century. Right, but he was using the term we a lot mm -hmm. um, and in this, and we meaning the United States of America. Oh. And it was amazing to hear, you know, one person said California, another one, mm -hmm. uh, the South. Well, they're from California. They they had no, you're right, just no idea really why, you know, what nation the U.S. seceded from, um, what year it was done, um, you know, like anything that surrounded the holiday, they didn't really understand what it was about. And now I'm sure this guy cuts out the uh, smarty pants there yeah. that know something. Um, and he's doing it in California. I wonder if he would get better results in other places. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know. I've, I've, you know, these when, when they do these man on the street things, what they seem to uh, capitalize on are the uh, the folks that just, you know, have no. They don't know how many stars are on the flag. They don't know who the <laughs> vice president is. And these are some of the reasons that I just don't go for this whole democracy or republic or whatever you want to call it thing. Um, when when people can't tell you. Uh, you know, what nation, what year the um, Declaration of Independence was written, what nation that they seceded from, uh, who the vice president is, how many stars are on the flag. I would venture to say that some large portion of the people that vote couldn't pass the citizenship exam. Which is a very basic kind of question. It's, it's not impressive. Um, there's like 10 questions to pass the citizenship exam, and they are not uh, particularly impressive Do questions. Do you have to get 100%? No. Okay. So, if in my opinion, if you can't pass the citizenship exam, you shouldn't be able to vote. Like, that is a criteria mm -hmm. for voting, uh, but not if you happen to have been born on the right piece of land. And you just— And just you can be as ignorant as you want. Right. I don't think that you—I don't think you sh should have to know this information, but if you want to participate in the voting process, you probably should know something about the system in which you are voting. And— that bothers me. Look, I understand that there is a long legacy of poll taxes and uh, you know literacy exams being used in uh, to, to disenfranchise ethnicities and that sort of thing. I get it, and I don't support that. All I'm saying is is that if you if you want to vote, you should be, everybody who votes should have to pass the citizenship exam, not just the people who don't uh, live that you know weren't born inside this particular uh, landmass. 
Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Mark, I'm going to finish this story from Lou Rockwell, and then we'll get to some more from uh, your original piece, uh, which is all about slavery and sort of the roots of the founding of the United States. So over at LouRockwell.com, Roger Young is talking about people celebrating Independence Day and the ignorance out there around this holiday. And he says, what in reality they have is the unfortunate opportunity to witness a spectacular historical failure. The institution created and charged with protecting those declared natural rights has instead morphed into the greatest threat towards their weakening and eventual abolition. Words on parchment outlining law, custom, and structure regarding such an uh, institution have been proven impotent to restrain the growth of a predator so large and menacing that it not only threatens complete evisceration of individual wealth and liberties within its declared territory, but also the lives, wealth, property, and security of people throughout the world. And of course, he's talking about today's U.S. federal government, the largest, most intrusive, most, uh, you know, worldwide, world scope reaching uh, government institution out there. So he's hitting on a lot of topics here. Obviously, if you um, you know live outside the United States and your family member has been killed by some remote uh, hellfire missile dropped by a remote control airplane, you're probably not going to be a big fan of the U.S. flag, right? No doubt. And like uh, the July Fourth isn't going to be a big day for you. Um, this is one of the reasons I suspect that they're warning that ISIS or Al Qaeda or whomever was going to um, bring some kind of terrorist attack today. Doesn't look like that's occurred. Thank goodness. Well, day ain't uh, over yet. The, uh, thank good. I'm I'm not rooting for it. Um, um, but you I know, bet the federal government's rooting for it because every time there's a terror strike of some sort, they what use is the it to, federal government? They use it, the people calling themselves the federal government. You think they, that the people that work for the United States federal government want to see terrorists? I think some here? of them do because they know that it means they'll get more power, they'll get more control over people. That the uh, the Patriot Act was already written, but when they introduced it back, you in might 2001, be talking about people at the very highest uh, yeah. reaches. Somebody. understand, but they at the very least they understand that no crisis should go unexploited. I'll give you that, but I am not ready to say anything beyond that. Uh, Seeing that such a large, powerful, and centralized political structure is not only inadequate, but inherently dangerous towards the stated goal of preserving liberty, aware individuals can only view celebrating such a structure as utterly senseless. Perhaps a new way to celebrate Independence Day is to shift the focus of the collective of collective independence to individual independence. The idea that claiming a collective independence will protect our inalienable liberties seems to have failed. How about a more individually oriented, decentralized approach, all based on the sanctity of individual sovereignty and the truth that no man is born another man's subject or slave? Claim true independence by withdrawing your consent and allegiance to a criminal regime posing as a benevolent master. Separate yourself mentally and emotionally from the death cult that values human sacrifice for the collective over the life-giving accomplishments of free-living individuals. And why stop there? Why not expand the scope from a localized effort to reassert our rights as freeborn sovereigns to a worldwide campaign of individual empowerment and liberation? Instead of foolishly celebrating a past independence from one king just to become enslaved by another, let's actively declare and celebrate an independence to all present-day state masters. And I say to that, bravo, I completely agree, which is one of the reasons why I'm one of the founding members of the Shire Society. And the Shire Society is a, a, a well, it's a website. You can go to shiresociety.com. There's the Shire Society Declaration, which is actually a personal declaration of independence. It basically declares your, you as an independent individual from the idea of the state, removing you from this sort of state collective, from that state society, if you will, and creating the Shire Society. We did that back in 2010, actually. It was the 2010 Porcupine Freedom Festival where we had the Shire Society, uh, the first signing of the actual Shire Society declaration uh, documents. So a historic day. And uh, ever since then, hundreds more people, I don't know how many people have signed the Shire Society Declaration, but I know it's in the hundreds at the very least, if not maybe in the into the thousands now. And many of those people are actually coming together here to New Hampshire as either part of the Free State Project or just because they like the Shire Society idea. But getting liberty-loving people to declare their personal independence and come join us here in New Hampshire so we can actually have a chance at getting out from under the thumb of the new king. I think is a really important thing. 
and you can share your thoughts with us here tonight at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We're here on Independence Day. What does it mean to you? Is it just an excuse to go out and have a few beers with your friends and cook something on the grill, which is a fine thing to do? Yeah, I think grilling uh, uh, grilling's awesome. Or is there something more to it? Does it actually mean something? Are people at their parties actually taking a moment to reflect on what the meaning of Independence Day is? And what does it mean to you? 855-450-FREE is our toll-free number. We've got Skype. You can Skype in to the show here at username lrn.fm. Share your thoughts on the state of independence today. Or bring up anything. You can also change the topic. That's why we call the show Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Join us here on the live Independence Day edition of Free Talk Live. More coming up. Discover how deep your American roots go for free this 4th of July weekend. Go to TryAncestry.com to get free access through July 5th. Visit TryAncestry.com anytime this Wednesday through Sunday, and you'll have free access to our collection of records from the original 13 colonies and with a new visual story experience. Celebrate this 4th of July and take advantage of this free access weekend. Visit TryAncestry.com. That's T-R-Y Ancestry.com. TryAncestry.com. Every summer we go to Canyon Woods. Love getting outside. Love the hiking. Hate the itching and irritation from poison ivy, bug bites, all the things that keep me inside. So I need something strong. Cortisone 10 Intensive Healing is clinically proven with the strongest non-prescription itch medicine available for fast, long-lasting relief of itching and irritation with seven moisturizers to help heal skin. I finally have the relief I need. Hey, Jan, check this out. On my way. Cortisone 10. Feel the heal. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If you want to play online poker with Bitcoin, you need a site that's trustworthy and technically sound. The site managers of SWCPoker.eu have proven their commitment to bringing you great gameplay from a site you can trust, SWCPoker.eu. They have lots of new games too, including Chinese poker, and their Krill leaderboard is open right now. It's a beautiful site, easy to use with lots of players. Go on over to SWCPoker.eu now and have some fun with your Bitcoin, SWCPoker.eu. 
You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. We are back with more Free Talk Live. We've got plenty of time for you if you want to join us here at 855-450-FREE. What does Independence Day actually mean to you? And, you know, when's the last time you really even focused on that? Maybe some of our listeners really do, you know, understand and appreciate the meaning behind Independence Day. But maybe it doesn't even really mean what you thought it did. I'm su- I was surprised to find this out, Mark, tonight. You're telling us that uh, in a lot of cases, the founding of this country had to do with protecting the right to own slaves. Yep, and that's, that's the claim here. That was. I guess I shouldn't be surprised by that, but it was the first time I've ever heard that. So you're going to tell us more about that coming up. Also, our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. ProXPN is a great privacy protection service online right now your internet service provider whether it be your cell phone provider or your home or work internet service providers they're probably logging all the websites that you visit the search terms you enter they could do what they want with those logs they can sell them to other uh, companies they can turn them over to the government for who knows what purpose and if you want to stop that from happening as well as prevent criminals from sniffing out your wi-fi packets go and get pro xpn software tonight it's available for windows mac ios android and linux Go and get set up for free at proxpn.com slash FTL. You can start with their free account to kind of get a taste of what it's like, but you're going to want to upgrade to their uh, premium account. I'll tell you what you get with that here in a moment. But what ProXPN does is they encrypt your data connection, so your ISP is still providing you with Internet service. It's just they can't see what you're doing with it anymore. And those criminals trying to sniff your Wi-Fi packets, they'll be foiled, too, by that encryption. So go to proxpn.com slash FTL to get started. And when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account, I've got a discount code for you. It gets you 50% off their regular monthly price when you buy the annual account with code FTL50. And that gets you unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can access. You can privately torrent. You can get past regionally blocked websites. And ProXPN doesn't keep records of your online habits. Plus, you get it with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied for some reason, they'll give you your money back. Really, you've got nothing to lose here but your privacy. So why wait? Get started right now for free at proxpn.com slash FTL, proxpn.com slash FTL. And don't forget code FTL50 and get a great discount on privacy that is priceless. As we continue here, Mark, you've got a story from vox.com. And we just sort of scratched the surface of this in the first hour, and you wanted to tell us more. Yeah, this is coming from Vox, and uh, the author is positing that uh, that the United States would be better off if the Revolutionary War hadn't been fought. He's got actually three points. I'm only going to focus on the first part of the article on the one point. And the reason I'm doing it is because of all the kerfuffle that came up around the uh, Confederate flag uh, flying out in front of the South Carolina um, State House over the last couple of weeks. And what people need to understand is is that you can't just eliminate uh, you know racist history or whatever you, you don't you don't get to paint history how you want to paint it like history is real and documented and you can like or dislike the history you can be happy or unhappy about it but the truth not optional going on the main reason the revolution and usually by the way the history – well, they've been whitewashing history in government sure. schools for a long time. Winners, they, winners write history. Yeah, you, you leave out certain points, right, and you can still sort of tell part of the story. Um, but, you know, in these government schools, they don't tell you anything about uh, – what was it? Uh, ben Franklin was a womanizer or, you know, you learn all kinds of stuff like that later on. That's pretty mild stuff yeah. compared to – Thomas uh, Jefferson owning slaves yeah. or having sex with a slave or whatever. Rape is what yeah. some people call it. Um, yeah. I don't know what I think about that. Um, you know, that's a it's a difficult situation to be able to uh, – to make that assertion. Anyway, um, the main reason the revolution was a mistake is that the British Empire in all likelihood would have abolished slavery earlier than the U.S. did and with less bloodshed. Abolition, remember, this is important, the United States Civil War or the War of Northern Aggression, whatever you want to call it, was the deadliest war in U.S. history regarding you know, citizens of the North people America. Yeah, in pe- the people, in, people in North American continent, from the North American continent. Um, the abolition in most of the British Empire occurred in 1834, following the passage of the Slavery Abolition Act. That left out India, but slavery was banned there in eight, nine years later. Hmm. 
England itself, um, slavery was illegal at least going back to 1772, and that's decades earlier than the United States. This alone is enough to make the case against the revolution. Decades less slavery is a massive humanitarian gain that almost certainly dominates whatever gains came from um, the, the colonists from independence. The main benefit of the revolution to colonists was that it gave more political power to America's white male minority. I don't have a problem with being white, and I don't have a problem with being male. I have a problem when that's used to dominate other people. For the vast majority of the country, it's women, slaves, American Indians. The difference um, between disenfranchisement um, in an independent America and disenfranchisement in a British-controlled colonial America was negligible. I don't know whether I entirely agree when it comes to, to women. I think women probably have had um, a lot of power as far as political decisions inside the household before and after um, you know, they, they got suffrage. I don't think there's very many households where women are um, you know, voting differently than their husbands. So in, uh, you know, single women, that's true, but I mean, a lot of women were married back then too. So anyway, um, the, the women's suffrage argument is, is something entirely different. If anything, the latter would have been preferable since at least women and minorities wouldn't be singled out for disenfranchisement. From the vantage point of uh, most of the country, who cares if white men had to suffer through what everyone else did for a while longer as though suffering, as though the people in Canada were suffering? Like, this is the thing that you need to do is constantly be comparing the U.S. to Canada because there's a North American country that did not fight a revolutionary war. And is still under the Queen. That was populated right? by largely very similar um, um, ethnicities, like you, there's a lot of similarities between Canada and the U.S., and things aren't so bad there. Yeah, they don't have the gun rights that uh, they I'm do. I'm not in the extolling US, but, Canada, right. by the way. Yeah, gun rights are an issue. But I can tell issue. you, every they, time I've ever encountered the Canadian, uh, I've only encountered them twice, but the Canadian border guards, they've always been nicer than the U.S. guys. I'm not thrilled about their um, their uh, uh, socialized health care system yeah, either, yeah. but. That doesn't. You they know, got that in Massachusetts. I'm not thrilled by with the giant military the U.S. has. Yeah. So anyway, um, it's true that the U.S. had the U.S. stayed, Britain would have had much more to gain from continuing slavery than it did without America. It controlled a number of dependencies with slave economies, notably Jamaica and other islands in the West Indies, but nothing on the scale of the American South. Adding to that, uh, the mix that would have uh, made abolition significantly more costly. But the South's political influence within the British Empire would have been vastly smaller than its influence in the early American Republic. For one thing, the South, like all other British dependencies lacked representation in Parliament. Southern states were colonies, and uh, their interests were discounted by the British government accordingly. But the South was also simply sm as smaller as a chunk of the British Empire's economy than it was as a portion of the America's economy. The British crown had less to lose from abolition of slavery than white elites in, in independent America did. Mm -hmm. Now, this needs to be juxtaposed when you're looking at the South Carolina incident, incident about the Confederate flag. I'm not saying the Confederate flag should be flying in front of the um, South Carolina State House. I am not saying that. I am saying, however, that you need to understand that the United States was founded to some extent in order to perpetuate slavery. Great Britain had eliminated it um, on their island 1772. So what you're saying is if somebody is against the flying of the southern, uh, the, the Confederate right. flag, they should also be, for, for the, because it stood for slavery in their mind, they should also be against flying the U.S. flag because that also stands for slavery. Somebody rebut it. That's the claim made by this article, or not, not exactly by the article, but that's the, what I'm extrapolating from this article. I'd like to hear another opinion. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Now, a twice as nice Twin Kit special offer from Complete H2O Minerals for all GCN listeners. Get a Complete H2O Minerals Twin Kit with 33 different minerals, vitamins, and amino acids all in a liquid form. Enough for two people for one month. Regular price $89.95, but now Complete H2O Minerals is offering the Twin Kit for $69.95. And all GCN listeners receive a bonus 16-ounce bottle of Ionic Silver absolutely free with free shipping. A $120 total value. Hurry, limited time offer. Call 803-794-4767 or click CompleteH2OMinerals.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. 
with the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at FFF at FFF.org and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's FFF at FFF.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world, so I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here at 855-450-FREE. We're talking about Independence Day and what it really means. We'll continue here, and you can join us on the airwaves uh, via phone at 855-450-FREE or via Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. With you in studio tonight, it's Ian here. And Mark. Also, uh, we'll continue here uh, right into your phone calls and thoughts. You can bring up anything, and then later on, if we get a chance... There's uh, you get some news, Mark, about these bakers that have been fined for refusing to make a cake for a gay wedding. Is that right? That's right. Uh, we can talk about that when we get the chance. But your calls come first here. Let's go to I believe it is Callie. Callie in Des Moines. You're on Free Talk Live. Callie. Uh, how are you doing? Good. You're on the air. Go ahead. My whole family is from the South, and one of the things that that they have with the rebel flag is not just about the slavery issue. It's it's the the lack of um, folks out there who are against anything to do with anything with black freedom rights or any of that. Anyone that would be flying those into their vehicles, you know, their pickup trucks and stuff. It's a symbolized to to the black nation that there is Ku Klux Klan and people who are against them, and that's so a lot of the reasons why they want to tear down that rebel flag. It is important for people to realize that. 
in the South, it still is very strong that people are against the black nation um, being able to be, you know, equal rights for everyone. And so, well, racism really, is everywhere. I'd like they, to I'd like to point something out. It's not necessarily the South that is racist. There is racism in the North too. Uh, there's racism well, everywhere, unfortunately. But if you go if you go if you go down south and you were I'm you from were the color, south. Well, if you were of color, you would see it a lot heavier than you would if you if you were white, because it is um, it is so still very very heavy, and that's why the rebel flag is so demised by so many people because it is part of that whole. But I think what Mark was trying to say earlier, and I see where you're coming from, and I don't disagree that people interpret right. I think the that rebel flag in that way. It's a symbol, and I think some people use it as a symbol of oppression. Yeah. I will agree with you on that, but. Um, the point, I, I mean, you know, the Ku Klux Klan walks around with American flags, too. Thanks, Callie. I appreciate your call tonight. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Let's talk to Joe. He's in Grand Rapids listening to WTKG. Joe, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Go ahead. Yeah, I think this country is kind of, uh, kind of stuck in neutral or stuck in the past, I guess would be a better way. Um, you know, there's no, and I don't, I don't care what anybody says, there's no... Um, legalized racism in our government, in the federal government. And, you know, just because you lose a job or you get fired doesn't mean it was sexism or racism. Maybe mm -hmm. you deserve to get fired or whatever. Um, but this always bringing up the, the rebel flag and the Civil War, that was 150 years ago, man. And, uh, you know, you're never going to get rid of people hating each other. You know, I've been overseas in the service and you know the koreans hate the japanese and if you go to i'm sure if you go to europe they different groups hate each other and they all look the same in europe and at least to me they do i know the and, english aren't that fond of the french and vice versa yeah and i mean it's just it, it's absurd it's this you know not everything's racism not everything's sexism you know and we've done more than most in the world to fix these problems and i think it's time people stop beating themselves over the head with it I mean, if, if, if What does somebody, that mean, though? I mean, when you say people need to stop beating themselves over the head, what, what do you mean exactly? Well, I mean, collectively as a country, I'm not responsible for what happened 150 years ago in the South. You know, I'm sure. sorry. I didn't, I wasn't neither. there. And even, even if my father or grandfather were involved in something terrible, that's got nothing to do with me. And but would you, <clears> wave, the, would you wave the rebel flag? I live in Michigan. Why would I wave the rebel flag? <laughs> right. I mean, you know, it's it's it is part of our our country's history, and you teach history the way it happened, not the way you wish it happened, or you don't try to rewrite it. Um, but you know, down south, you go down there. There's there's towns that have, they have monuments to you know, Confederate generals and all this stuff. They got monuments to to Union generals up here. Yeah, yeah we got like a that. we got a Union graveyard around here, and. It's 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 part of history, and I think people, man, they just get so, you know, they get so wound up about this stupid stuff. What happened was terrible. People were murdered, and the next thing you know, you're not even people aren't even talking about it anymore. It's about you know some douchebag with a rebel flag on the internet. Well, I can and, I can see why somebody would be upset. Like, for instance, if somebody were waving a Nazi flag, yeah. if somebody put a Nazi flag on the back of their truck and driving, you know, were driving around with that. I think people would rightfully be a little bit perturbed, don't you? Yeah, if I was if I were a black guy, I would be upset. I mean, it would probably annoy me, but you know what? Live your life, man. Don't let I'm, I'm with you there. I don't think you should really spend time on these matters, but I can also understand why some people are sensitive to it. Joe, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate it. I, you know, I'm the same way. Look, if somebody wants to, uh, you know, it's like, it's like somebody having a, an offensive bumper sticker. It's their opinion. It's fine. They can have what they want. It's it's a free country, which we know it's not. But you, at the very least, are free to have some sort of flag uh, on the back of your truck. And if you want to have an offensive flag, you should be free to have an offensive flag. That doesn't mean I want to be your friend, though. Well, for me, the uh, the, the rebel flag doesn't mean that. Um, and I'm talking specifically about the, the Second Virginia Battle flag. I'm not talking about, um, you know, like that's what it meant when I was a kid. And I think that's largely, you know, it just— What, it meant, what did it mean? It meant rebellion. Uh -huh. It didn't mean— it meant sort of maybe where you're from, uh, which, of course, I'm from the South. Um, but it wasn't—at no point in my life has the Confederate flag ever meant— 
you know, let's hate on some black folks. Like, mm -hmm. It's never meant that. Um, I can see why some people interpret it that way, and that's one of the problems with... Uh, and with they're not a, wrong for interpreting it that no, way. No, I'm not claiming they right. are. I'm just saying it's a symbol, and I'm pointing out that symbols are... Uh, you know, they're 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 a wide brush. Yeah, they're right? open for interpretation. Right, and that's one of the difficulties here. Um, when it comes to what the caller is saying, is is he'd like to get past uh, the sort of racism and. Um, me too. It, well, me too. Did you hear how the caller before him? I don't remember what her name was, like Trisha or something like that. Was talking about the Black Nation. Mm -hmm. What is the Black Nation? I don't know. I meant to ask her that, but I didn't. Right, and I don't know what the Black Nation is either. Um, what I do know is is that when you look at let's, let's talk specifically about um, you know black and white issues if that's what we're going to talk about when you look at black people who are um, in majority white neighborhoods and um, areas of the city they do significantly better than blacks that live in um, you know that have a, above a certain percentage of that live in neighborhoods that have above a certain percentage of uh, blacks in them and what I see as a problem of integration. Um, if we want to be a, you know, be one homogenous culture, um, that that's going to be, that's an issue of integrating, not an issue of staying separate. A lot of blacks fought really hard and gave up a lot to be integrated. And for whatever reason, that integration isn't occurring. I'm not saying it's all blacks and I'm not saying it's all whites. I think it's on both sides there. And folks just need to, uh, you know, let's just get together a little more. That's what's better for everybody. Let's talk to Sean in, and I agree with you. Let's talk to Sean in Bozeman, Montana, listening to KMMS. Hey, Sean. How are you doing today, guys? Welcome. Go ahead with your thoughts. I, I was wanting to weigh in on a, a subject that I've been studying lately, admiralty. Are you guys familiar with anything to, to do with British or American admiralty law? All I know is if there's a gold fringe <laughs> around the flag, <laughs> that's when i got to watch out. Well, I'm going... Uh, more for the the uh, Supreme Court side of the thing. What I've discovered is that uh, uh, Admiralty in Britain was expanded greatly after the American Revolution. And uh, Admiralty and is a, a type of of study of law. Is that right? Yes, Admiralty is the law of the high seas, uh -huh. and it owes no allegiance to any particular country. It seems to be the the law of commerce, and it's shared by any seagoing nation that has white people in it. Uh, your, your subject today is fascinating to me because it seems to me that admiralty uh, was actually expanded. British admiralty was expanded in America. We're still using the same law that's been used for a thousand years. You're talking about English common law? Well... Uh, I'm confused, Sean. I want you to clear up the confusion for me. I want to know what, why the law of the high seas really matters. Does it even exist today? What is the point of the discussion? Stand by. We'll have you try to explain it coming up. 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. It is the year 91001 BCE. Witness humanity's origins in Hypercronius, a classic role playing game for Windows PCs with a story like no other game before. The liberty-oriented experience that is not to be missed. Go to zog.ninja to get your copy of Hypercronius today. Use the code FTL to get $1 off. Hypercronius. zog.ninja. Code FTL. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. More and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body, and there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body, supercharge your health at alkavision.com. 
Have you ever wondered if you could make electric, light, or heat in your home for free? How about a motor that charges batteries at the same time? What if this also restores useless batteries and saves you lots of money? Come to our Renaissance Charge Conference Workshop on August 15th and 16th in Fort Lauderdale. Visit r-charge.com. That's r-charge.com for details. Or call 208-304-2954. 208-304-2954. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a free, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 9938 do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Join us here on the radio waves on this live Independence Day edition of the program. 855-450 free. It's Saturday evening here uh, on the East Coast in New Hampshire, where we are located. And uh, we're just talking generally about Independence Day and what it means to people. But also, Mark, you've uh, revealed that there's an article over at Vox.com claiming that the founding of the United States, the declaring of independence, that which is supposedly being celebrated today was actually based in slavery, based in the desire to maintain and to continue slavery in the United States. Is that right? Yeah. Um, so going on with this article, it's... Uh, You're not going to have time for that. No, You've got not, a lot of people want to talk. Yeah, I, what, I guess for me, what I want to do is I want to think about uh, what you know, what claims are. What, what are the claims? Was the Revolutionary War a good idea? Well, I think this author makes a really good argument that, well, from the standpoint of people that were owned as in chattel, in the form of chattel slavery, no, it really wasn't a good idea. Um, and when I look at the news of the day surrounding the um, Confederate flag and people wanting to take that down um, at, in South Carolina, uh, I... I'm like, well, you know, this is interesting that the Revolutionary War was fought in part, especially by white Southern uh, slaveholders, for the purposes of being able to keep a slave. They saw the writing on the on the wall. In 1772, slavery was abolished in Great Britain, in or it, in on the island of England. There, the island of Great Britain. Um, and what would what would be the reasonable expectation of uh, the colonists uh, as far as what their ability to own people? Well, likely they wouldn't be. We had Sean on the line in Bozeman, Montana. He had begun talking about admiralty law, something he's been getting into recently. And I wanted to find out why this really matters. Is it still in effect? And what does it really matter to the average person listening in our audience here tonight, Sean? Because it sounds kind of esoteric. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that, and I'll give you three other reasons why it might not be a good idea that we broke away from England. Uh, the, the three reasons are this. Admiralty in England allowed a jury to determine matters of fact. In America, after the Revolution, the same Admiralty law amended no longer allowed a jury in Admiralty. Admiralty is completely uh, a, a commercial law. It's... Uh, civil law. It's equity law. Equity of the sea. Uh, a second reason... Uh, but juries exist change. in the United States, though. Uh, in admiralty, juries do not exist in the United States. Okay. Well, I've been to not, trials that have juries. Not in admiralty, you haven't. Well, I haven't been at... I've never been at a ship at sea that's had an issue, of, a legal issue, that much is sure, for sure. Well, it doesn't have to be a ship at sea. Uh, admiralty trials actually take place on land and they take place uh, in connection with commerce. And you're talking about like traffic tickets reason. that are traffic tickets that don't have juries. No, I'm I'm talking about completely admiralty. I'm talking about the but that's, law. That doesn't mean I'm anything. Gonna, Saying the same word over and over again it makes it even more meaningless. Well, you, keep, you you keep injecting traffic tickets into it, and I I'm not going there. Well, what, what is it? What does it mean? Is, what is an admiralty case? Is it only something that has oh, to do with international high seas traveling or trading or whatever? What is it? What is an admiralty? Give no, me an example. Okay, an admiralty uh, a standard admiralty case could be a, a ship is wrecked. Uh, let's say a ship is wrecked on the Mississippi River, and uh, the suitors would sue in a court of admiralty, which would be a district court of the United States sitting in admiralty. That would be a common suit in admiralty, and okay. they have different rules. I see. And so what you're saying is that if that suit happens in the U.S., there's no jury. Okay, what's the other point? Uh, the most important uh, expansion of the power of admiralty is the removal of the high tide mark as the boundary of jurisdiction. And throughout the 19th century, they expanded the, the boundary. As late as 2012, they're still expanding the boundary of admiralty. Uh, it is now they own all of the waters. The admiralty courts have jurisdiction in all of the waters of the United States. We had a recent court case in Montana, and you're, you're having one nationally saying that the United States owns all of the water. Those are the two reasons why, in Admiralty, why we should have uh, probably stayed with England. Thanks, Sean, for your call tonight. Anyway. Appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-453-FREE. It didn't go as crazy as I thought it was going to, because usually when people call in about Admiralty jurisdiction, they go off into, like, conspiracy theory land. You mentioned the gold fringe on the flag, jokingly. They usually will talk about, that's proof that it's an Admiralty jurisdiction, and you're in the Admiralty, but what does it really mean? I guess I I'm not know. surprised that uh, there's a, you know there's different sets of laws for, um, you know, when you're d doing business on the water. But I guess he was I'm actually surprised. making, a, uh, I think, an interesting point that uh, admiralty jurisdiction, he's saying, is worse in the U.S. than it is in uh, in Great Britain, mm. and that would have been another reason to stay uh, with Great Britain. Let's go to your calls. We actually tied it into uh, the topic, which you don't have to do here on Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything at 855-450-FREE. Uh, John is in Ocean City listening to WPG. Hello, John. Hello, yeah. You know, Benjamin Franklin was an abolitionist, and there was abolitionism all the way back, and it was also that pro-slavery. And actually, the abolitionists and the pro-slaver butted heads every decade after the Revolutionary War was fought. Hmm. And it was Benjamin Franklin who said that um, it was the forbiddance of colonial script that was the primary uh, reason of uh, the war for independence, because in 1850s, and then, no, I'm sorry, the 1750s, the British government outlawed colonial script, which was making colonial, uh, colonial America very rich, and uh, actually a lot to do with it was over money. Now the whole thing yep. is, is that a yep. lot of you know, a lot of people think that uh, what's the use of having a revolutionary war when uh, it was Woodrow Wilson who signed the Federal Reserve Act and put uh, the control of our monies in stockholders from Europe. Yeah, most of your stockholders in the Federal Reserve are European. I mean, you have the Rockefellers, but basically our money is controlled out of Europe. So what's the difference? They, you know. If you look into the lives of uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln, uh, James Garfield, William McKinley, and John Fitzgerald Kennedy, you'll see that each one of those were in that power struggle with that hierarchy of power. And now, if I mention the Rothschilds, people say it's a Jewish conspiracy. No, it's bigger. It's way bigger than that. You got the hierarchies, the aristocratic families of Europe, which are mainly Gentiles. It's a 
co-European conspiracy. It's of a power money conspiracy. conspiracy. It's it's yeah, that's pe- correct. It's a it's a it's a rich 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 super super rich money men conspiracy. Those who control the money control everything. Wasn't it Rothschild who said something like that? That's right. Yeah. yeah. I care not who makes the laws, but who that controls the money. Right. And, and, and uh, if, if people can ask themselves, what's your money backed by? Um, and the answer to promises, that— Promises, promises. W- the answer to that is, is right, a promise to pay. What are they going to pay with? They're going to pay with tax labor. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to pay with you um, in the future. They're, they're all debt notes. That's the reason that uh, the Fed, it says Federal Reserve note. Note is a legal term meaning right. a debt. You have a note on your house, or at least most people do. Um, right. Um, and that's what that means. So these are uh, they're 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 brought into being through debt. It's the United States government, um, you know, borrowing from the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve issues these uh, these pieces of currency. So this is a hundred percent true. Getting people to pay attention to this and how it affects their lives. You hear everybody complaining uh, day in and day out about the the minimum wage on um, Facebook. Man, it's just, it's just a huge issue. Oh, the minimum wage needs to be raised. You know why it needs to be raised? Um, f- the minimum wage in the '60s was was a hundred a dollar twenty five. You take right. those same five quarters, those same five quarters today, um, if you just the silver in them, it's worth like twenty bucks. The minimum wage would have been is essentially twenty dollars an hour now um, by the, that standard. That's an interesting point. You're talking about the uh, the old money. Was it pre 1964 or 1964 and earlier? 65. I, can't remember. Uh, I think they started to take the silver out of the coins in 1965. So anything prior to 1965, I believe, is 90 percent silver. John, good call tonight. Thanks for sharing it with us. Our toll free number here is 855 450 free. So what you're saying he is he does that- make a very good point, which is all the rest of this crap about laws and what people talk about really is superfluous to people who make the money. Yeah, and so what you're talking about there is sort of the continuing debasement of the U.S. currency, which actually did have some value at some point. The long time ago, the, the Federal Reserve note you're talking about, the one you pull out your wallet, you get those greenbacks out, says Federal Reserve note on it. Prior to, what was it, 1936 or something like that, they actually had silver certificates those notes looked similar, kind of had that same green color to them. But same they were very design. specific that you could uh, that you could use that note to get a get a, a commensurate amount of silver. You could turn it in, basically, the Federal yeah. Reserve Bank or whatever the, the local branch would be, and actually get silver out of that. Well, they stopped doing that. So if you actually try to go to the Federal Reserve and try to get silver out of one of those silver certificates, they won't honor it <laughs> anymore, even though some of them still float around here and there. But yeah, keep your eyes open if you're a cashier. Every now and then, if you run through enough money, somebody unknowingly will come through a cashier line and spend one of those old silver certificates, one of those dollar bills. Yeah, that's a good day for a cashier. It's uh, it's fascinating uh, history there. We've got plenty of time for you with your calls and thoughts. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. If you are on the line, we will come to you after the news. 855-450-3733. We've also got Skype. Skype on in and join us here, and you'll sound really good usually on Skype. And by the way, we've had some uh, internet difficulties here over the last several months, but I think this new router has solved it, so we should have better Skype calls too, fewer dropouts. Skype username is lrn.fm. We're coming up on Free Talk Live. Hi, my name's Cody, and I want to tell you about Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper is the world's first decentralized peer-to-peer protection system. We are developing a smartphone app that revolutionizes how people protect one another. Peacekeeper is a disruptive alternative to the status quo. Peacekeeper is a leap forward in protection services, allowing neighbors to respond far more quickly than police and fire services can. And this is a real community builder, too. Visit peacekeeper.org and join us. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. 
Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, July 4th, 2015. Silver is trading at $15.72 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,169 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $259. Antiwar.com reports Israel's military has announced the closure of Highway 12, which runs along the border with Egypt, after three grad rockets were fired across the border, landing in an open field. There were no casualties. The missiles were launched from the Sinai Peninsula into southern Israel, with the Islamic State affiliate group State of Sinai claiming responsibility for the strikes into occupied Palestine. This, the Islamic State affiliate, has been increasingly active in the past week, including a high-profile attack against Egyptian forces on Wednesday that sparked a day-long battle that left some 200 people killed in the area along the border between Sinai and the Gaza Strip. This affiliate, which joined the Islamic State back in October, has also fired rockets at Israel from within the Gaza Strip, a tactic they say is meant to encourage Israel to attack Hamas, another of their foes. The group has often threatened strikes against Israel, but this latest salvo suggests that might be getting to be a more serious threat. The affiliate has been fighting Egypt's military junta since the 2013 summer coup. Israel has backed the coup and the junta, and Egyptian officials have talked about inviting Israel's military to join the fight against the Islamic State in Sinai. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports the American Civil Liberties Union is suing a Kentucky County clerk on behalf of four couples, two of them same-sex, for refusing to issue marriage licenses after the U.S. Supreme Court's historic decision to legalize same-sex marriage. The ACLU said Rowan County clerk Kim Davis cited deep religious convictions in refusing to issue marriage licenses to any couple and violated the couple's rights. The lawsuit says by adopting a policy to withhold issuing marriage licenses to all individuals otherwise eligible to marry, Defendant Davis acted maliciously with callous disregard for or with reckless indifference to the clearly established rights of the named plaintiffs. Davis, in her individual capacity, acted intentionally, willfully, and in disregard of the clearly established rights of the named plaintiffs and with deliberate indifference to the clear rights of the named plaintiffs. Davis told LEX 18 News she is standing firm on her decision despite protests. She said she decided to oppose the June 26 Supreme Court ruling after praying and fasting. She said, My conscience will not allow me to issue a license for a same-sex couple because I know that God ordained marriage from the very foundation of the world to be between a man and a woman. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numerary supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. Reuters reports JetBlue Airways said it began direct charter flights between New York and Havana on Friday, the first major U.S. carrier to fly the route following U.S. President Barack Obama's decision in December to normalize relations with the communist-ruled island. The airline said Cuba Travel Services is offering the weekly flight on Fridays between New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport and Havana's Jose Marti International Airport. It did not say how much the trip would cost. JetBlue now operates five 
weekly round trips to Cuba, including flights from Tampa and Fort Lauderdale with various charter partners. Since the Obama administration issued new regulations that eased some restrictions on trade with Cuba, including permitting more travel by Americans to the island, airlines in the United States, such as United and Delta, have said they also will look into adding service. Other charter airlines already operate limited service to the Caribbean island. American citizens are still not allowed to visit Cuba as tourists, but they can visit the island for one of 12 reasons, such as visiting family or participating in academic, professional, religious, or educational programs. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. A new medical study on the effects of marijuana use confirms that everyone knows you're high and that you'll never stop feeling like this. Everyone can smell the marijuana on your breath and on your clothes. Everyone is laughing at you. Additionally, the in-depth report reveals that despite trying to act cool, you're definitely laughing too much and everyone is messing with you. Your parents know you're high, your friends know you're high, strangers on the street know you're high. If you're young and you smoke marijuana, you will probably never be able to find a job. And if you're an adult, you will most likely be fired. If you hear a noise, that's probably the police, and you're probably going to jail. While previous studies suggested that it's all good and that we're all made of the same stuff that makes stars, new research indicates that your brain got broken and you shouldn't have done this. Doctors say the study raises important questions such as, what if that wasn't just marijuana and how are you going to get home? This is the Onion News Network. Back with Free Talk Live, you may join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you in studio tonight, it's Ian. And King Mark the First, And we can uh, take your calls about whatever you want to discuss. We've been talking generally about Independence Day and how, according to a story over at Vox.com that, Mark, you've been referencing off and on throughout the show, the claim is that the U.S. declaring independence back in the day in the late 1700s, was actually in a lot of ways motivated by the desire to keep slavery in the United States, given that it had been recently abolished in Great Britain, which would mean that the United States flag is also a slavery flag, a slavery-promoting, slavery-oriented uh, symbol. And so those who are upset about the flying of the Confederate flag should also be, by proxy, upset about the flying of the U.S. flag. Did I summarize that correctly? That sounds about right. Toll-free number is 855-453. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. We've got Savian on the line in Asheville, North Carolina. You're on Free Talk Live. Savian. Hey, um, I wanted to make a comment about the Confederate flag. Please do. Um, quite frankly, um, I'm an African-American, but I'm actually born in Manchester, England, so I guess I'm English-American or whatever right. you want to You're say. not African-American. You're... Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> My father's African American, so okay. either way. What you mean is um, you're, you're black. A, you're a black. Go ahead. Man. <laughs> yeah. I'm black, exactly. Right. And um, so when I look at flags and when I see different meanings, I see a different perspective. When I see the Confederate flag, I don't really see a meaning behind it, but I do see, um, since I am living in Asheville, North Carolina, there are some people that have a meaning behind it, and that meaning simply means pride in their. American stance against the Union. Um, in England, of course, being from Manchester, we're from the North and not from the South. And in the North, you have um, the Irish against, of course, the English, the Scottish against the English, and there's that fracture, kind of like in America. However, slavery was the thing that kind of perpetrated um, the issue in the Americas. Yep. So what I'm saying is I think people look at the flag completely different. Mm -hmm. African-Americans or my African-American friends see the Confederate flag to be sort of a stance to say, you know, slavery was good. We wanted slavery. Therefore, we keep this flag. The American flag or the, um, you know, the 50 stars and the 13 stripes for the 13 colonies that flag stands for the American all good and all that. However, um, elsewhere we know different. 
What do you mean? Do you understand? Sorry? Uh, what do you mean? Elsewhere, we're no What different. does the American flag... Um, elsewhere, we mean, uh, you know, around the world where U.S. wars have been fought? U.S. foreign wars have been fought? Is that what you mean? Exactly. Yeah. Um, I think the American flag for other people doesn't necessarily stand for what it stands for other, um, for Americans. Absolutely. It just, you know, again, it all depends on your perspective. And that, I think, is coming back to what you were saying, Mark. And thanks, Savian, for your call and thoughts tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, it's interesting to get other people's perspectives on things as far as, you know, what is that flag? What does that symbol mean to you for somebody who, as you pointed out, Mark, has been bombed by American fighter jets or whatever? They probably have a real negative view of the American flag. Not necessarily an Amer a negative view of the American people. Maybe they're uh, understanding enough to know that the American government isn't necessarily the average people of the U.S. Well, but that's a pretty advanced opinion, Ian. Most Americans will tell you, we are the government. We vote the government in. Now, the only at that point, the only thing they uh, you know, they, some of them may want to run away from the responsibility of the uh, of the government's foreign wars at that point. But you really can't take both of those positions. Right. The position I take is that you, the average voters, vote is inconsequential. It doesn't change anything. It matters not. So don't pretend like you're part of the government you're because not. the government's never listened to you and never will. Yeah. Right. If you think you're part of the government, change one thing. About the government? Change one <laughs> thing about the government, and then I will believe your silly story. Until such you time— You can spend the rest of your life, and you probably won't change anything in the federal government. We understand mathematics— you don't have any control of the United States federal government because your vote has never made a difference in a U.S. federal government election. If it has, please call in at 855-450-FREE because these vote totals are tremendous. Um, I don't remember what Barack Obama won New Hampshire by, but I think it was like 60,000 votes. So if I voted for or against him or whatever, I was able to withdraw that vote, he would have won by... 60,000 less one, um, you know, 59,999, oh, but it wasn't exactly 60,000, but whatever the, the total was, it'd just be one less vote. He would have still won. It would have made no difference. Virginia is in Madison listening to the Mike 92.1. Hey, Virginia. Hi. Hey. And I want to quickly agree with you in an even deeper way. Our votes don't matter because no matter what party we vote for, we get the same corporate capitalism with a slightly different delivery, perhaps. But it ends up being all the same. But yeah, it's I, cronyism oh, all the way. No different doubt. lip service. I, it's just incredible. You, But in any case, I called about the Confederate flag because... It seems to me that it was a really important distinction here. Nobody is asking anyone to ban the Confederate flag. We want it off of public land because blacks pay taxes too. And this thing, this thing, you know, you're all saying it's history, it's history. But the Confederate flag was used by the segregationist party in the South to mean one thing. And that's, we will never accept blacks as equals. We stand for apartheid. And uh, we're going to basically use violence against anyone who tries to integrate our society. And the Confederate flag stands for that. And I am old enough to remember the civil rights struggle. And I remember the terror. Well, it stands for that for some people. Um, this is important. Now, I, I guess I didn't say it enough times. I don't think the Confederate flag should be outside of any government buildings because That's it's right. a government flag, and that government lost its fight. So it That's should not right. be in front of a building that is purporting to be part of the United States government. I think that that is, um, you know, a silly thing to do. However. Um, and, and I, you know, like, like you're saying, uh, I think people should be free to fly that flag if that's what they want to do. And they should be free to hate on that flag if that's what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And I want to say one last thing, sure. because I really I can't stress enough how frightening the civil rights struggle was and how you felt you could be killed any minute, just killed and tortured. So I want to suggest a book, and it's called We Are Not Afraid, and it's the story of Goodman, Schreiner, and Cheney, a couple of people who were killed. And I want to remember Viola Gregg Luzierno, 
and I don't know how to pronounce her last name. She was a little Italian woman that was driving people back and forth, civil rights workers back and forth on the road. She was a white woman, and they killed her, too. Mm. So that book, We Are Not Afraid, by Kagan and Dre, it really gives you the sense of how frightening that all was. The Night Riders, the Klan, the Segregationist Party. It, it, we really need more of this history, less about the slavery. We all know about slavery, but more about the terror you had to live in uh, in Virginia and, and Mississippi and those states when people were just trying to get equality. Thank you for your call tonight, Virginia. Thanks for the book recommendation. I appreciate that. Uh, the toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. I've got the book pulled up here. Uh, the description is the story of the 1964 killing of James Cheney, Andrew Goodman, and Michael Schwermer in Philadelphia, Mississippi, at the hands of the KKK and local cops. Described as one of the best books on the civil rights movement, the murders it describes inspired the acclaimed film Mississippi Burning. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, is, is this sounds like the plot of Mississippi Burning. <laughs> the events surrounding this seminal event have re-entered public debate due to the recent conviction of manslaughter by Klansman and Imperial Wizard Edgar Ray Killen for his part in orchestrating the murders going on. You can learn more at your own pace. Over, uh, Go look for We Are Not Afraid on Amazon. You can get it for 20% off easily through Purse by going to purse.freetalklive.com and spending Bitcoin. We'll come back with more Free Talk Live here in moments. You can share your thoughts with us. Every summer we go to Canyon Woods. Love getting outside. Love the hiking. Hate the itching and irritation from poison ivy, bug bites, all the things that keep me inside. So I need something strong. Cortisone 10 Intensive Healing is clinically proven with the strongest non-prescription itch medicine available for fast, long-lasting relief of itching and irritation with seven moisturizers to help heal skin. I finally have the relief I need. Hey, Jan, check this out. On my way. Cortisone 10. Feel the heal. Discover how deep your American roots go for free this 4th of July weekend. Go to TryAncestry.com to get free access through July 5th. Visit TryAncestry.com anytime this Wednesday through Sunday, and you'll have free access to our collection of records from the original 13 colonies and with a new visual story experience. Celebrate this 4th of July and take advantage of this free access weekend. Visit TryAncestry.com. That's T-R-Y Ancestry.com. TryAncestry.com. Honey, it's time for dinner. What are you doing over there on your computer? I'm shopping for a new wallet. Mine is falling apart. Hey, did you know there's a company called ID Stronghold that makes shielded wallets to prevent electronic pickpocketing? Oh, I didn't realize there was such a thing as electronic pickpocketing. What is that? Well, apparently, many of the new credit and debit cards being issued have radio chips inside them called RFID to transmit our banking information to card readers when we pay. Unfortunately, a bad guy can also get one of these readers and go around the city scanning people, collecting their credit card numbers and personal information without us knowing it. Wow, that sounds scary. Since you're getting a new wallet anyway, you should definitely get an ID Stronghold shielded wallet. Are they more expensive? No. In fact, I can get a shielded leather wallet from IDStronghold.com for the same price or less than regular unshielded wallets from other stores. Sounds great. My wallet isn't falling apart yet, but let me pick one out, too. I want to be protected, and these wallets at IDStronghold.com look fantastic. Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks, why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. We're back now with more Free Talk Live. We've got plenty of time for you if you want to join us here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Mark, what is Peacekeeper? Peacekeeper is an app. It's an app for your iPhone or uh, Google uh, Android phone. And what it allows you to do is notify app users who are in your immediate vicinity of your home that you have some kind of emergency that's going on. It allows you to be sort of specific, fire, medical, that kind of thing. And this is incredibly valuable. When seconds count, Neighbors can respond in ways that, um, well, er, in, with speed that emergency services can't. That's what I love about Peacekeeper. Um, now, Peacekeeper 1.0 has been out for some time. It's got some bugs, and um, they're you know redoing some things and bringing out Peacekeeper 2.0 with some incredible revisions. Now, Peacekeeper 2.0 is running an Indiegogo campaign right now. You can find it at pk.freetalklive.com. This could change the face of emergency response around the world and all you have to do to is go get some perks by signing up for their indiegogo campaign it's pk.freetalklive.com pk.freetalklive it's pk is in peacekeeper pk.freetalklive.com let's go to your calls and thoughts here the toll free number is 855 450 free john is listening in laconia new hampshire to wezs hello john you're on free talk live Yes, hello. How are you today? Welcome, sir. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Um, I know the topic here is about the Confederate flag. Uh, I'm not from the South. Uh, I don't hold any, uh, you know, any want to the flag, but I, I think we're, uh, it's important to discuss that, and, and perhaps it is, if it's a symbol of hate that we should respect the thoughts of others. And I also want to bring into the topic uh, symbols of other hate as well uh, that might be relevant to the discussion. They have to do with, uh, you know, Nation of Islam and the Black Panthers, things like that. Um, but more importantly, I wanted to talk about how people at the time, their, their mindset. My great-great-uncle was a general in the Civil War, Emory Upton, and uh, he gave his life to end slavery, basically, serving in the uh, military in the Civil War. But um, that His well, family were abolitionists. Was, was that it his true? belief that he was fighting to end slavery? You're, you're about to say he was an abolitionist? Absolutely. Of course, Absolutely. you know, his, his family, Lincoln his family didn't end slavery, president. right? Like the end slavery. It, I mean, there were other reasons, obviously, economic yeah. for that. But in his case, his personal case, his family were abolitionists. They were friends with Frederick Douglass. They lived in the Batavia, New York area, um, and this was their true belief: that slavery okay. was wrong. It was immoral. Um, and in fact, when he was at the point West Point, he was in the class with Custard. I'm sorry, I was just running a little bit, and. Right. Uh, uh, Custer came in last in the class, by the way. He came in fifth. But um, one of the Southern cadets uh, challenged him to a duel, and the commandant agreed to it. They had a fight in the dining hall, a sword fight, uh, because the Southern cadet had heard that he was an abolitionist, that he had friends uh, who were black at Oberlin College, where he went to college, uh, and didn't appreciate that. And they had the sword fight. Uh, fortunately, it ended in a, a draw, but he wound up with a scar on his hand and his face. He carried those throughout his life. He Ultimately, in 1879, as the head of Presidio, from all of the battles that he went through, several in the Civil War, committed suicide with a bullet to the head. Whoa. So point, the point being, sir, is that there was a lot of sacrifice, obviously by black folks, but also white folks. And? Hello. 
That's what he's saying. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yes. yes. There were a lot of people who sacrificed themselves on the altar of uh, ending slavery, but if it's important to point out that slavery ended without such sacrifices around the world in most cases, without fighting, without uh, civil war. I mean, can you see that over time, maybe all of that would, would have been unnecessary and that had the South been allowed to secede, that eventually they would have ended slavery just like the rest of the world did? Well, I th yes, but I think the thing is, here, here we are talking about the Confederate flag and potentially ending the symbol of the greatest the symbol in the world of freedom. All right, and sacrifice the American flag on its birthday. Um, well, that's your opinion, right? Like this is what we're talking about here: is the different opinions oh, that people have and, about and these I, symbols. And I appreciate it. I, I think there's some people that feel that way, and others don't. Right, because it, it I, could I be seen as a symbol of oppression. Yeah, but historically, that that American flag, American ships did not bring slaves to America. They were under the Union Jack. All right, that's the first thing. If you read your history, you'll find that British bought the slaves. The slaves were owned by the black chieftains, and they sold them to Spanish and Hispanic slave owners or traders, and they in turn sold them to users like the English for America. And, and it, someone touched on this earlier. There weren't just black slaves. I'm Irish. The English also transported Irish people throughout the world, including Australia and here in America, yep. slaves. Good points. John, thanks for sharing your thoughts tonight. I do appreciate hearing from you. Our toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Yeah, it's um, human history is a history of slavery. And this is something that is, it's dearly difficult to sort of internalize for many people. Oftentimes, uh, you know, I, people in the liberty movement, and I am certainly have done it in the past, have said things like, um, you know, people today are still slaves. They just don't know it. And oftentimes this term slave is, is a loaded well, that's term. That's what Harriet Tubman was famous for saying, right? Indeed. She freed a thousand slaves and she, she could have freed a thousand more had she only been able to convince them they were slaves. Right. Um, and, you know, my, my claim is, is that, yeah, the claims on your body and your land, um, your ability to own and your ability to travel are different today than they were um, 150 years ago, but they're different for everybody mm -hmm. today than they were 150 years ago, not just people uh, of color. And, yeah, um, it really, you know, really would have stunk to be black in America in the 1900s. There's no doubt about it. Um, excuse me, the 1800s, um, 19th century. But at the same time, if you're going to be talking about the history of slavery, you need to look at how it affected everybody. Doug is with us in Bedford, Virginia. I believe listening to WLNI. Go ahead, Doug. Yep, that's the station I'm listening to. Yes. Excellent. I want to talk just briefly on the um, the uh, Confederate flag as well. You know, it's it's mind blowing to me. You just you talked about the you know the the slaves that was not only black but that was always Irish and and multiple other um, Scottish and and uh, Jewish and everything else along through there. But but the predominant quote unquote rich whites was the ones that owned. Uh, the black slaves, the poor whites was the one, or poor whoever was the ones that owned the the, um, the white slaves. And also, as far as it goes to the Confederate flag, of course, I'm white, and um, I've got many, 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 many friends that, um, that's black. I was in the Marine Corps nine years, and uh, um, I served with, with uh, many multiple uh, racial um, colors and backgrounds at that time. But the thing is that I, I'm amazed about more than anything else. And you said this was just kind of a free speech type thing. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny how the, that with this situation, which was such a tragic situation with um, uh, the situation that happened in South Carolina. So yeah, the, the what I'm getting at church assassinations. Is not, is not not by no means, uh, you know, making that lightly. But but right here in, in, in a little town called Lynchburg, Virginia, they had three black kids that – uh, beat the hell out of a 93-year-old man that came from Arizona to uh, see his see his uh, granddaughter's wedding. They beat him to death. They went to jail for six months, and they're back out on the street. They took a boy that was in West Virginia, took gasoline, and poured on him, a little retarded white boy that uh, poured gasoline on him and lit him on fire and burned him alive. You never heard nothing at all about none of those situations along through there. You're this saying that somebody pretty... got did six months for murder? Yeah, yeah, first-degree murder. Because there's all an underage. Uh, in China, so. Hold on, underage. Uh, the, <laughs> people, people in all over America do are doing research. life sentences do for crimes committed underage. Do, do the research. That's all they got. Thanks, Doug, for your call tonight. Our toll-free number eight fifty five four fifty free. You I'm incredulous. Share. I guess is all share I can say. Share your thoughts here on the live Independence Day edition of Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves. 
Have you ever wondered if you could make electric, light, or heat in your home for free? How about a motor that charges batteries at the same time? What if this also restores useless batteries and saves you lots of money? Come to our Renaissance Charge Conference Workshop on August 15th and 16th in Fort Lauderdale. Visit r-charge.com. That's r-charge.com for details. Or call 208-304-2954. 208-304-2954. By now you know that wireless technology like cell phones do in fact pose dangers to the health and privacy of everyone. Blockit Pocket's wide range of products are unmatched in providing the protection you deserve. No scare tactics, just common sense. BlockitPocket.com offers quality American-made options to alleviate and eliminate these invisible dangers. Learn more at BlockitPocket.com or call 888-315-9618. BlockitPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Free Talk Live. Good evening, Mark and Ian. Hey, it's Scott the Bigot. What's on your mind tonight, Scott? I know that America is in dire straits, and I know that the whole rotten Zionist occupied government is going to collapse very soon. When was the last time you went out and socialized with other human beings? I, I get the pulse of the people, and I get the pulse of what's going on in this country. How can and you get the pulse of anything bad. if you're cloistered within your apartment? I know what's going on. In I the mean, world. are you even getting out amongst other white separatists? No, no, no. Yeah, wait, in a minute. Is that your mom? No, no, no. Yeah. no, 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 no look at it. It's 9 o'clock. Yeah. I want it. No, no. no. So, gentlemen. Who, who is I, that? <laughs> yeah, you go well. Wait, is that I your take, mother? Yeah, I take care of her. How old are you, by the way? 49. Is your mom as uh, bigoted and nasty towards other human beings as you are? Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at Forum.LRN.FM. That's Forum.LRN.FM. We're back. You can join us here on Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number for you to bring up anything you want to discuss is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that await you there on the website. Free Talk Live is brought to you by Purse. You go to purse.freetalklive.com, get signed up, and start spending Bitcoin to save 25%, 20%, 15%, 5 You can select the percentage you want to save on Amazon. You've saved more than 33%, right? 
I have gotten something, I think, at 33%, but it's harder. It's pretty hard to get 33%. It's really easy to get 20 to 25% in relatively short order. Uh, so I wouldn't necessarily promote Off of everything, just about everything yeah. you need to live life. Yeah, anything you ever want to buy on This Amazon. is like getting a raise. Right. It's really, it really is. Purse.freetalklive.com. Just go get signed up there. Tell and get, your friends and family. Yeah, get started. They got a nice little intro video that will explain how it works. It's real simple. Purse.freetalklive.com. Dot com. Our toll-free number, again, is 855-450-FREE. Mark, let's change gears. Uh, you had wanted to talk about this gay wedding cake that was uh, refused by a cake maker. They refused to make said cake. And now, apparently, there is a fine that has been issued, some sort of a, a ruling. Is this a court that decided to do this? Well, it's, What's going on? It's, Where's it's, it it's a fine. Um, it's Oregon. Um, it's coming from theexaminer.com. Uh, on Thursday, Aaron and Melissa Klein, owners of Sweet Cakes by Melissa, were ordered to pay $135,000 to a lesbian couple for refusing to bake a wedding cake. They were also essentially stripped of their First Amendment rights with a gag order that prohibits them from discussing how their Christian beliefs shape their views what? on gay marriage. The Commissioner of the Bureau of Labor and Industries hereby orders Aaron and Melissa Klein to cease and desist from publishing, circulating, issuing, or issuing or displaying or causing to be published any communication to the effect that <laughs> any of the uh, accommodations will be refused, withheld, or denied, or that any discrimination uh, be made against any person on account of their sexual orientation. Hold on. Which organization issued this? Commissioner of the uh, Bureau of Labor and Industries. So then, no court then. Well, they, I mean, you know, what do you care? Uh, if you're, they're well, the ones. They're the ones that give out the the license. If you don't have a license, you can't uh, do business. Oh, so they're licensed. Yeah. Everybody's licensed, man. Not that me. does business. Not me. No, just I'm about. I'm not interested in in their licenses. Excellent. I'm glad that you managed. I don't to... want their permission slips. But by the way, I support gay marriage. I, you know, I think it's fine for. Gay people to get married or for three people to get married or for four people. I don't care. It's your life. It's your personal decision. You Anybody should, should be able to contract with anyone else yeah. if they want to live together and, and make commitments for their, their lives. And the right to contract also includes the right not to contract. Yep. So, therefore, if you walk through my front door as a business owner and you say, I want to buy your advertising, Mark and Ian, I love your show. Let me buy a bunch of your advertising for the KKK. And we say no. I don't want racist advertising on Free Talk Live. Should we be fined for that? Should there be some bureaucracy that comes in there and says, well, you have to give service to anyone that comes through your door and sell advertising to anybody, even someone advertising a scam or racism or whatever? No. I have the right to say no as a business owner. At least that's what I thought. Apparently, well, that's not the case in Oregon. Right. Um, so what this is, uh, so this is, I've supported gay marriage up to this point. I don't support gays getting government marriage license anymore. I don't suppose anyone is, getting support anyone getting a government well, I marriage. I did up to this point, and this is the reason I don't now is because well, here we go. Somebody went and just went too far with it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you shouldn't. Th th this gay couple, this lesbian couple. Let me guess, they were attorneys. I don't know whether was. they are. I don't have any. Um, yeah. I don't have any information on that. They're doing the happy dance around this cake because they're sure not going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, who would eat a cake made by somebody who hated cake. them? Yeah. Um, that's uh, It's absolutely and patently ridiculous. No one would do that. This is just a way to control other people, and I think it's really, really wrong. Um, I think that gays and straights and everybody should be able to marry, but I think the government should get out of the business of marriage licenses at this point because we've shown that they're only used to harm people. Um, it's, you know, yeah, I'm just none. I'm done. I'm sick of this. Uh, this people wanting to use the legal system to harm other people for their beliefs. If your belief is, is that gay people are bad for whatever reason, then that should be your belief system. And you shouldn't have to do business with people that, uh, you know, you don't want to do business with. That's fine. As and far I shouldn't as have to do business with those people. Agreed. I should, I want to know who these, uh, who the, who the, uh, you know, the bigoted the cake, cake makers are. Right. I want to know that information because I'm not going to give them my business exactly but if that's their belief system they should be able to do it and this is this is one of the tests right can Test you live with other people because if you're forcing other people to uh to you know do business the way you want them to do business you can't you can't get along you can't mm -hmm. handle diversity because yep. that's what this is this is a diversity of opinion 
That's an interesting way to put it, Mark. I think you're right on there because a lot of the people who support gay marriage would say they support diversity, but they don't actually. If they're saying that you have to pet, you have to make a cake for somebody that you don't agree with, for somebody that has a lifestyle that you disagree with, then you're saying conform. You're saying you need to conform to our beliefs so we can feel comfortable that you know everybody out there likes us. Right, and obviously this isn't going to stop Christians that have bakeries or uh, florists, Christian florists, from uh, doing what they want to do. It's just going to stop them from telling the truth. Hmm. If you came and you forced me to bake, a, you know, we're going to try to try to you know like, oh, I want you to make a cake for my gay couple, and I'm some kind of uh, you know religious fanatic or whatever that has these opinions. All I'm going to say is, sorry, I just can't make cakes right now. I'm so booked. And now you've got, you know, you're going to have to Prove go on. Otherwise. You're going to have to go on and find the next person who's too gullible to uh, to tell you the real reason. That's fine. There's lots of gay cake makers out there. You can get your cake. Mm -hmm. You'll be just fine. You'll get yeah, a you fabulous get cake. You want to get the cake right. that'll you cash in. You won't get one hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars out of some Christian couple that was that was bold enough to tell you the truth about what they thought. Mm -hmm. That blessed you and your life enough with the truth. To be honest, you can't yeah. get truth in this life. And when you get it, you sue somebody it's, it's disgusting up. it really is but was there a suit involved in this because it sounds like it's not a court making the decision look ian i don't know the specifics man yeah. i can tell you the commissioner of the bureau of labor and industry has made a decision this is probably one of those little um, kangaroo courts that are held by these um, you know government agencies yeah, I'd like to know more about the kind of the ins and outs of how that works there in Oregon. I mean, is this one of those things where these customers were upset, so they appealed to the licensing bureaucracy, yep. and then the licensing bureaucracy made this decision? And what is the cake maker going to do? Is there a, is there a detail in the story about, like, what is the cake maker saying? Are they going to appeal this to an actual court? Because usually an administrative decision like that in a government can be appealed to a court. And well, so I wonder if that's the case. They're complaining about it. Um, they say, effectively, this strips us of our First Amendment rights. According to the state of Oregon, we have neither um, have freedom of religion or of freedom of speech. Yeah, we will not like give it. up this fight, and we will not be silenced. We stand for God's truth and God's word. If you think you know what God's truth and God's word are, I've got news for you. Yeah, if you think You're, hating people is God's word, then you get I don't know that they hate anybody, but they refuse to uh, okay. participate in this. Uh, all I'm saying is is that people that claim to know what God is saying, mm -hmm. um, they're, you know, that's a dangerous thing to claim. Sure. Well, that has justified all kinds of violence over the history <laughs> of man. And freedom for all Americans. We are uh, we are here to obey God, not man, and we are not will not conform to this world. If we are to lose everything, it would be totally worth it for well, our Lord, who gave us them. His one and only Son. Right? I mean, look, I don't agree with their political or their uh, their personal viewpoint on gay people because I like gay people and they're my friends, many of them. Uh, but uh, but I think that uh, good for them for standing up. If they're if they're saying I'm not going to pay this fine, and Further, we're going to continue operating our business. Then I think that's the best thing they can possibly do. And throw Harman, it back in their face. Yeah, and the the lawyer says she was shocked by the uh, the order from this uh, Avacanian, this uh, this government bureaucrat. According to Harmon, the commissioner has been outspoken about his intent to rehabilitate those who do not conform to Whoa. the state's beliefs. Um, so that's another sort of frightening thing to say. The order is an outrageous abuse of the rights of the clients to freely practice their religion under the First Amendment. Um, and, uh, you know, they're saying it's just it, it's just the fact that they can't talk about it, the gag order. I think it should be even all of it. Well, usually a gag order only comes from a court. So, again, I wonder what level of enforceability this particular administrative order has. The toll-free number is 855-453-FREE. Can somebody tell me why gay people should, or why Christians should have to make cakes for gay people? 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. It is the year 91,001 BCE. Witness humanity's origins in Hypercronius, a classic role-playing game for Windows PCs with a story like no other game before. A liberty-oriented experience that is not to be missed. Go to zog.ninja to get your copy of Hypercronius today. Use the code FTL to get $1 off. Hypercronius, zog.ninja, code FTL. 
Hey guys, I'm Tim Baker. I'm Daniel Brown. And I'm Sean Stewart. And we are the You, Me, and BTC podcast. Cryptocurrency decrypted. Us three chumps love to talk too much, and for some reason other people seem to enjoy it. That's why we started You, Me, and BTC, which, which is your Bitcoin and Liberty podcast. Find our show at youmeandbtc.com every Thursday. We also post Bitcoin-related reviews, opinion articles, and much more. Subscribe, like, and follow at youmeandbtc.com. We've been patiently waiting. Waiting while you tried to ignore us. Waiting while you acted like we didn't exist. Waiting for our chance to be taken seriously. The wait is over. GCN is available 24-7 at GCNlive.com. Navigate through news from your favorite hosts and download archives of past shows. Download the app on your smartphone or tablet or visit GCNlive.com for instant access and live streaming. GCNlive.com, the future of talk radio. Now at your fingertips. More and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body, and there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Here's a breaking medical legal alert. Attention, users of the diabetes drug Actos. If you or a loved one has taken Actos, then develop bladder cancer, or if a loved one has died from bladder cancer after taking Actos, you may be entitled to significant financial compensation from the pharmaceutical giants who made these drugs. Our experienced attorneys are dedicated to help you get the money you're entitled to, but time may be running out on this opportunity. So you must call today. The information is free. There are no fees and Unless we win your case. If you or a loved one has developed bladder cancer or something worse after taking the diabetes drug Actos, call right now and learn your legal rights. This is an advertisement not valid in all states. I am a paid non-attorney spokesperson. Call the tort attorneys 24-7 right now. 800-430-7924. 800-430-7924. That's 800-430-7924. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here toll-free and mark the question that you asked. I thought it was a good question. If somebody wants to answer it, I'd love to hear the answer, even though we're in the last segment of tonight's show. If you don't get in tonight, you can still call tomorrow night on our live Sunday edition, and you can answer the question then. The question was, and I'm, I'm probably paraphrasing here, uh, if you believe that a cake maker should be forced by the government to make someone a cake, with whom they disagree. They've got some sort of disagreement. In this case, it was about gay marriage. Why do you believe that? Why do you think that cake makers should be forced, and presumably anyone else who's doing business, to do business with somebody they don't necessarily agree with or they don't want to do business with? Is that the essence of the question? Yeah. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE if you want to join us here on Free Talk Live. Also, don't forget you can join us online at freetalklive.com. We've got archives. We've got YouTube videos. We've got our uh, Facebook and Twitter. And now, by the way, I think I finally fixed it to where 
Every night when I upload the archive and the YouTube video, there will be posts made automatically to our social media, Facebook and Twitter. So if you're following us in those places, you'll see the, the archives there. So that's cool. And it, the website's free, so please go and enjoy it, freetalklive.com. If you support the show and you want to help support Free Talk Live, please get behind us for 5 bucks a month with the AMP program. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. The idea is to take that $5 in from you and other listeners and then invest it into the show so we can get on more radio stations all around the country. We've got over 150 stations today. We could have 200, 300, 500. It's all possible. It just takes money for marketing Free Talk Live and getting it out there to more program directors across the country and also expanding our satellite signal. We're now back on in Africa. So welcome back to our African listeners out there uh, listening on Amos 5 on free-to-air satellite. It's, uh, I'm so excited to be back on uh, on satellite over Africa. It's very, very cool. So that is something you can support with the AMP program as well. AMP.freetalklive.com. You get perks like access to the AMP-only call-in lines, the AMP-only Facebook group, and more. It's AMP, A-M-P dot freetalklive.com. To the phones and the fun. Michelle is in Myrtle Beach listening to WRNN. Hello, Michelle. Michelle in South Carolina. Going once. Michelle in South Carolina, going twice. We'll try putting her. Whoa, 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 that didn't. Hello. Oh, we're gonna bring her back. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. Yes, we can. Go ahead, Michelle. Sorry, I wanted to talk about gay marriage and the whole gay thing. I feel like the um, if people want to discriminate, and not necessarily discriminate, but if people want to use their religious belief to do their own practices against homosexual marriage. I don't see the problem with that. I am actually a transsexual, and I understand the whole belief system behind whatever they believe. It's whatever. My father's like that. And so it's not an issue. Why do people find it to be such a big issue for homosexuals to do their own thing? I don't know, and I think the reverse should be the case too. Where if you are if you're a gay cake maker, you should be able to tell a Christian couple that comes in that hey, I don't appreciate your beliefs, so I don't want to make you a cake either. I think everybody should be able to be free to say no. Don't you? I think agree? there's a lot of gay Christians too out there. This is just sort of a a, a facet of Christianity. Yeah, that's true. Michelle, anything else you want to share? Go ahead. Well, quite frankly, I'm just saying I don't think it's a Christian issue. I just think it's a person issue. It's a what issue? Like, person. Oh, a person. A person. Yeah, I think that anybody that wants to believe whatever they want to believe or do as ever they want to do, that's what allowed it for in this sort of constitution, is it not? Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate your call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Yeah, the Declaration of Independence that says uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit, pursuit of, of happiness. happiness, whatever that means for you. Let's go to Cliff in Charleston, South Carolina. Cliff, you're on Free Talk Live listening to WTMA. Yeah, hi. Um, listening to you talking about the uh, Confederate flag. Yes, sir. And you're arguing about the wrong flag. If you Google Confederate States of America flag, it's not the one that uh, – you're talking about right well, we did mention the second virginia battle flag um you know in it but it, okay you mentioned that earlier yeah okay. I, I mean it's a it's a minor historical note the average person isn't going to know what um the the confederate the, if if, if somebody if somebody saw a confederate the real confederate states the of america one, flag the first one. right the stars and bars right, as it is known bars. they're they going to recognize it yeah, yeah they're going to think it's some state flag because it it's so it's innocuous. unremarkable really yeah, it is the terrible flag yeah Hey, okay, thanks for clearing that up, Cliff. That point. Appreciate it, man. Well, Go ahead. Okay, see you, bye. Oh, I was going to say, you could say something else if you wanted. <laughs> but thanks. Oh, for no. It. Damn it. And then I just hit the drop button right as he kept talking. <laughs> Sorry, Cliff. <laughs> Call us tomorrow night. Uh, Daniel is in Lynchburg, Virginia, listening to WLNI. Hello, Daniel. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, good. Go ahead. You know, I agree with everything you're saying. I, 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 gay marriage doesn't affect my marriage one way or the other. Nope. If somebody's in love, that's fine. Yep. My problem is, like you said, they're testing the waters to see how far they can push this. And, and an interesting thing, what if you walked into a, an African-American-owned bakery and said, I want a Confederate flag on a cake, and they refused? Do you have the same right? And I'm mm, telling I you, CNN not. did this for <laughs> Uh, no, I would suspect not. CNN did the story on the on the, the couple that refused the gay cake, and they they made it seem like a victory for the gay couple. Wow. Uh, I'm I'm wondering if you could you could do this follow the same rules 
for a Confederate flag on a on an African American owned bakery cake. I, I think that would there's they, an argument they, that they, that that would stand. I mean, if this court, if this uh, bureaucracy's decision is allowed to stand ultimately by a court, and I hope that it is not, then that would be a precedent to where you could make that argument. I think. Right, and it's it's all, but you're you're not going to hear that same argument for an African American owned bakery because they're they're they would. They would shoot that down in a heartbeat. You can't do that. It's offensive. Well, what's offensive to one person might not be to another, just like gay marriage might be offensive to mm-hmm. a Christian. You, you you would have the same ability to, to sue that. And I'm, I'm telling you, if somebody did, it would probably stop the whole process of these frivolous lawsuits on this, because now you're going to have you're going to have people testing the waters on this, and sooner or later it's going to blow up in the government's face, because they shouldn't be involved in it to begin with. And it, I'm telling you, if somebody was brave enough to test that, you would the arguments for the gay the gay mar- the gay couple won the, the the cake would fall down flat because now you have to honor the 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 Confederate flag too on a cake because it might not be offensive to the people who want the cake, but it would be to the to the African American baker. So uh, you know it, it, this is a double edged sword that they're oh, going yeah, down. Is. Oh we, yeah, we've and often chuckled at uh, at callers that have talked about a gay agenda, right? Like what exactly is this gay agenda? Well, I found it. I have found the gay agenda. The gays went ahead and just fell into the trap of the gay agenda. What do you mean, the gays? There's a lot of different gays out there. I don't think it's fair to say that— I would I would argue to say most gay people probably wouldn't support this lawsuit. They would. They, they, you I don't know, know. Why Why do you got to Why do you got to do this? You yeah. know, I, I know when I got married, it's not like I wanted you know to to it, it to be a, a national event. These they're trying to to bring attention to something that we already know. Daniel, thanks you know, for your call, man. I appreciate the uh, the thoughts. I I tend to agree with Daniel. I don't think most gay people would support forcing. I don't it. know. I, I just I'm just saying I don't think that's the case. I think most of them understand that uh, they've been uh, discriminated against and, and treated very poorly over time. And a lot of people be- are very picky about equal protection under the law. They think that it's a, uh, you give up you give up the smallest area under equal protection of the law and then Western civilization is going to crumble. Vivian is in New Mexico, I think. Vivian, you're on Free Talk Live. Albuquerque. Oh, yep, very good. Okay. You're listening to Kiva. Go ahead. Okay, I'm 58 years old and when it comes to discrimination, okay, like the gay people where the cake was refused, we're saying, okay, that, you know, I don't support, you know, I'm a Christian, I don't support gay marriage, but when it comes to uh, them refusing to make the cake, I was refused uh, a while back when I was younger to be served in a restaurant, and I'm only 58 years old, and, you know, that was really, you know, we're saying, uh, you can refuse a person can refuse service. Well, heck, you know, I if I would have known that they weren't going to serve me to begin with, I really wouldn't have wanted the food because they could have right. done something. Exactly. To it. But you know, but it's embarrassing it though, isn't it? More so, yeah, it would have hurt me more so for them refusing to do it. You know, to make me some food because at that particular time I was hungry. Yeah, they it's didn't despicable. Even want me to come in the front door. Yep. It's despicable. I get where you're coming from, and I think it's despicable. But um, sort of mm-hmm. one of the the difficulty of taking a right um, the position we are here is is that you essentially have to take a position where, well, you know, a white business owner would have to be able to to serve, um, you know, refuse service to blacks if that's what they wanted to do. But I yeah. mean, don't you think that you and that's if you were, it, I agree it's horrible. But don't you think that uh, a black business owner should have the right to say not serve somebody who's wearing a KKK hood? Well, I go, okay, see, and that's another story. <laughs> that's a good question, you know, Mark. Unfortunately, we're going to have to end you know, on it. Yeah, Thank you, Vivian. It's end of it. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, Vivian. We'll be back Thank tomorrow you. night. If yeah. you want to join us and continue the discussion, join us tomorrow night for the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. Same times, 7 to 10 at night Eastern time. If you don't get us on your local talk radio station, Every night of the week, you can call and ask real nice like, talk to the program director, tell them you want to hear more Free Talk Live. Otherwise, you can always grab us online anytime at freetalklive.com. Enjoy your weekend. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. 
FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't